All right, good evening. Hello and uh, welcome. Uh, welcome back to uh, the channel. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to, uh, <laughs> where are we? Uh, we are in Lima Zulu Tango Tango, Tatri. <laughs> we're in Eastern Europe. Um, and uh, yeah, we're, we're here in uh, Tatre uh, Airport in, um, hmm. Where are we? <laughs> oh man, I don't know this part of the world at all. But uh, anyway, it's a World Update 14 Bespoke Airport. And I gotta tell you, it's pretty darn beautiful. Um, there it is, uh, Airport uh, Poprad Tatre. Um, is this, oh, is this Hungary? I think we're in Hungary. Um, I <laughs> probably should have done a little bit of research. Uh, Slovakia, we're in Slovakia, I think, only because I put that comment in there. What's going on, everybody? Um, <laughs> Jake plays first. Uh, Anon, you're looking forward to them all, but this one has epic stream written all over it. I don't disagree. Um, this one could be fun. This is this is one of those like, hey, this is just for the hell of it. Um, and Anon, thank you for your uh, recommendations actually for this. Um, I don't think this is the exact route or the exact airports, but um, we're going to try to hit a whole bunch of the World Update 14. Uh, World Update 14 airports. So uh, yeah, man. Uh, Mika, what's up? How you doing? Um, JW, this weekend you're gonna have your 55 tuned up to watch. Oh, you got a 55 inch TV. Nice, man. Nice. Uh, Anon, yes. Don't forget to like the smash button on your way in. That is good advice. I think you should all do that uh, before you forget. And that will offset the um, four dislikes that we got uh, before. Whoops, sorry. Before the, <laughs> that's probably why people disliked it because I don't know how to use the controls um the four dislikes that we got before the stream even started so how about that um fires what's up man you're no longer green well you know how to fix that sir uh anon what have you i know it's beautiful i mean i've never been i don't we've never been here in the sim we've never been here i've never been here in real life um i think this is a destination that i think i need to go to in real life because that is just magnificent um, and we're going to see more of it from the air. Uh, so we got to get things going because, because I don't know. Um, we'll see how many of these airports we can actually get to. Um, uh, let's see. JW. Yep. 55 inch. Nice man. Um, in on, uh, you know, you made it when there's trolls constantly trolling. Exactly. <laughs> and I really don't care. I honestly, I think it's funny. Um, it happens almost every stream now. Um, so that's good. I guess we made it. All right, cool. Well, let's get this thing fired up. Um, so we can get out of here. Uh, let's see if I remember how to actually use it. Um, Mika, I missed your comment. No, I said hello. I said hi. I said hello. I swear I did. I said, Mika, hi, how's it going? Uh, JW should fly out of Indy. I know we've flown out of Indianapolis before. I know we have. Um, cool. So I guess we'll do the walkthrough um, on the first flight here just to say that we did it. Um, we do have the, uh, the, the beacons on. Um, so let's go ahead and do the walkthrough. It's kind of fun, um, but we're not going to spend a whole heck of a lot of time doing it. Um, oh my gosh. Yeah, because the views actually, honestly, they kind of suck. Like, this was a good idea, but in VR, like the execution just is kind of meh. Um, we have no fuel in the tip tanks, so we're not going to worry about that. Uh, let's go over here. Uh, we can remove the tie down from the starboard uh, wing. Go over here and uh, uh, I will check the fuel. Make sure we've got some gas in there. We had the uh, FBO uh, line folks uh, fill up the tanks to the collar. Look at that. We got lots of gas. Uh, so that's good. We can close that. Pop under here and take the chocks away. Continuing over here. Um, I guess we'll take a sample. Maybe. Come on. Oh, it's because we don't have the fuel selector turned on. So we'll just go ahead and ignore that. Uh, assume that that's blue and there's no water. Check the alternator belt. That looks good. We'll check the oil level. Let's see what we got here. Somebody didn't put it on too tight. Oh, it looks like we got lots of oil. It's gonna, just gonna spit it all out uh, all over the belly because uh, we probably have too much in there. Uh, anyway. Uh, I missed yours. Uh, it's important, really, really important. No one chat, you can't let it be buried. 
Uh, oh, okay, Mika, sorry. I'm gonna check my comments today. Yes, of course, yes. I will definitely check my comments today uh, after the stream, yes. I mean, you can put it in chat if you want, um, but uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I always check comments. I'll go over to Discord too. Looks like we got fuel in the uh, port. I'm sorry, this, yeah, port tank. Uh, that's good. Uh, we'll remove the tie down and the pedo cover. Uh, let's continue all the way around here. Uh, check the ailerons. Flaps should have been down for this, but that's fine. We can check the elevator. That's good. Take off the tail tie down. Uh, let's go over here. Let's go ahead and add some uh, baggage for our trip. That's all good. Love it. Awesome. Okay. And now we're going to get a funky view here that I have to reset. So awesome. Walk around is complete. Everything looks right and tight. Um, Anon, now, so you need to check the oil every flight and top off when required. I check the oil every flight, even on like when I flew to lunch in the... Um, in the arrow, um, I check the oil not only on like the first flight of the day, that's one of the things that I check every time I start the engine, uh, just in case, uh, you know, just in case <laughs> something decided to let loose and, uh, you know, oil got sprayed all over the place. Um, I like to know that there's, uh, you know, at least four and a half quarts. Um, our aircraft doesn't like a whole lot more than five quarts, to be honest. It's got a, ma a capacity of eight. Um, ours likes to settle in around five quarts. I don't like to do long cross countries with anything less than four and a half. I mean, I'll do short flights with four. Um, and you could fly with as little as two. All right, cool. Uh, Pre-flight is complete. Passengers briefed. Seatbelt. My seatbelt looks pretty good. Control lock is removed. Uh, parking brake is set. Gear is down. Flaps are up. Radio is off. Avionics are off. Autopilot's off. All electrical switches are off. We already checked the circuit breakers. They're all in. Um, cool. Uh, Reiner, what's going on? Hello, uh, Mr. Flightsim. Hello to you. What's going on? It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've streamed. Sorry about that. Um, been kind of a busy weekend. I flew uh, flew the real arrow on was that Sunday, um, and then this has been sort of a busy week at work and family stuff. So um, yeah, so here we are, and we'll probably stream again on um, Friday night. Uh, there's an FNO. Um, I forget where it is, but we'll probably stream something fun. Uh, then cool. All right, so pre-flight looked good, uh, and let's go ahead and start up the engine. Scapper, what's going on, man? Hey, hope you're doing well. Hope you're uh, oh, you're going through a lot. Sorry, man, having a rough time. Um, yeah, hit me up with a DM. Sorry, you're going through a rough time. Man. It uh, doesn't make me happy at all. All right, master on. We got the windows open, by the way, because I left this airplane sitting on the ramp and it started to fog up. Um, let's put the fuel pump on, and we'll check that we have fuel pressure here. Just to check to make sure the fuel pump is working. Fuel pressure is rising, so that's good. Let's turn that off. Let's prime the engine. I hear a bunch of stomping out of my outside of my office here. It's one, two, three. It's my daughter, and I'm not sure what's going on. Three shots of prime. Um, oops. So that's good. Beacon is on. Mixture is full rich. We'll crack the throttle about a quarter of an inch. And we'll yell, clear prop. Hit starter. Let's go. Good start. Ooh, a little little much there. We went over over a thousand RPM. Um, immediately checking that the oil pressure is up and in the green, and it is. And we can pull this back to under a thousand RPM. Lean the mixture a little bit since we're on the ground and we don't want to foul the plugs. Let's close our windows here. So we're not making a whole lot of racket inside the cabin. And that's all good. So let's put the avionics on, autopilot master on. Here comes our Garmin, our, uh, what is it? GTN 750 NXI. That's all good. And our, uh, what is this, an 830? JPI 830 is coming alive, awesome. Clear that, refuel that, save that. That all looks good. Um, fires, uh, sounds like you just said master arm on. No, uh, did I? I said autopilot master. Or avionics master and autopilot master on. Sorry, I'm, maybe I'm getting a little bit of a cold. I don't know. My family's been feeling a little under the weather. Um, knock on wood, I've actually been feeling okay, but yeah, my voice may not be the best. So sorry about that. Um, 
JW, that's just a given. Uh, not sure what. Uh, Reiner, we're flying to uh, Pogani, which I think that one's in Hungary. <laughs> what are we doing? Dog fighting? No, 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 no. Yeah, right, exactly. Now we're we're just we're gonna fly to uh, here. I'll show you. Uh, we're gonna go from uh, Tatre in uh, Slovakia, where we are now. And it looks like Navigraph doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. And we're flying to Pex, uh, Hungary, which is Lima Hotel Papa Papa. So, yeah, just kind of a chill flight. I'm just going direct. Um, it's clear in a million. Hopefully, we're not going to hit any mountains. Uh, yeah, LHPP's hungry. Nice. Okay, I got that one right. One out of, one out of two ain't bad. <laughs> cool. Um, all right, I already set the altimeter, so that looks good. I actually want to get off the ground because the first leg is kind of a long one. So let's just go ahead and put it in our flight plan here. Uh, Lima Zulu Tango Tango. And where did I say we're going? Lima Hotel Papa Papa. And the weather looks good there, too. So we'll just fly a visual approach. And, uh, yeah, and just hang out. And it'll be fun. And hopefully I won't melt because it's about, well... We hit a record today. It was 100 degrees here uh, at du uh, Dulles. Um, I live kind of close to Dulles, in between Dulles and National. Dulles broke a record today. It was 100 degrees, and my house is not that cool. Uh-oh, not enough memory. Well, that's great. Error code out of memory. Oh, wonderful. Stand by, folks. I don't like that. How do I refresh that? Oh, come on. Really? Uh, stand by, folks. Stand by. Bizarre. I don't know why I did that. That sucks. Huh. I know. Always attention seeking. Well, maybe it's hot. I wonder. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how we get on with this one. All right, cool. Um, so that's all good. Let's um, continue with the checklist here just to make sure we don't screw anything up. Uh, cool. Primers locked. Avionics masters on. We already checked the AMI rocks. We'll do that on the run up. Radios are on. Transponder we don't need. Altimeter set. Heading indicator will set to 270 because uh, that's which runway we're going to be using. Uh, oh, there's the METAR. Thank you. Yes. Perfect. Look at that command working. 2805. Clear in a million. Um, and unfortunately, this is still set to inches of mercury and I can't figure out. I think you have to change the MSFS setting. Um, <clears throat> to get that to uh, to get that to uh, to change, so um, we're just going to go with it the way it is. So, do we not take the chocks away? Hmm. Oops. Cool. Um, I guess we can do a run up here. Why don't we just do that uh, while we're here? Let's just go ahead and this goes to two thousand. Mixture's going to go full rich. Two thousand RPM. Check the mags. We'll check the right. That's good. Check the left. That's good. Now this is when I check the ammeter by just flipping on the pitot heat because it's going to put a, a draw on the ammeter and it flicked there, so that's good. Uh, we'll cycle the prop three times. They nailed this sound, by the way, of the prop RPM changing once, twice. RPM and manifold pressure look good. And then three times, check for oil on the windscreen. And I don't see any little droplets, so that's good. Uh, and then we'll just do an idle check here. Pull this back. Make sure it doesn't stall, and it doesn't. And we'll get that back up to about 900 RPM. Lean the mixture again. Nice. Um, JW oil check. Oil temp is coming up. Yep, pressure it already looked good. I checked that as soon as we started, and the oil temp is now coming up after the run-up. So I think we're good. I think we are good to uh, to get out of here. So, um, yeah, it's in the MSFS menu. Exactly. It's a, it, it's um, 
you have to go and change it in msfs settings and unfortunately i can't get back to them easily here so we're just we're gonna leave it i can get the um <laughs> so batsim radio is actually pretty good about oh, okay why isn't batsim radio coming up now why isn't anything working Urgh. come on look at this uh, heck. That's just my luck today, I guess. I don't know. All right, well, we got other ways to get the weather. We can use the uh, airport info. Anyway, my coffee, what's going on? You got your coffee? Let's see how the uh, this simmer flies at Comanche. Oh, boy, no pressure. All right, well, we'll see. We shall see. You keep having that issue where you have to close and reopen the tablet. Oh, uh, okay. I wonder if that's a bug with the new version of this, uh, of the tablet. Um, interesting. It's very interesting. All right, cool. Well, we're parked, like, right... <laughs> We're parked right at the edge of the grass. So I think we can just make a hard right turn out of here. Uh, take a quick look at this beautifully rendered air, airport, uh, bespoke airport. Uh, and then uh, and then go ahead and take off. Because, like I said, this is kind of a kind of a long flight. On the first leg, anyway. That's all right. We can roll the Comanche in the grass. It's no big deal. No big deal at all. Yeah, look at that. That's really nice. For default bespoke airport quality that's that's really good in my opinion in this simmer's opinion uh, that looks pretty darn good what do you guys think drop a comment in the uh, comments below let me know your thoughts <laughs> we set the trim to neutral i don't know all right let's go like i said guys this is a pretty much a just a fun for the hell of it stream on a wednesday night i mean there's nothing in this this is just going to be checking out some scenery checking out some parts of the world that we haven't been to before and having a good time. Um, Boxel, what's up? Uh, do I have multiplayer turned on? I do not have multiplayer turned on and Anon, I don't even have Vatsim today. I'm not even on Vatsim. Um, Mike, Europe, cool. An actual pilot says the Comanche can, whoops, uh, go on dirt and grass uh, due to its big nose wheel. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I mean, I you could easily land a Comanche on a nicely manicured grass strip um i'm not saying it's a bush plane i mean heck you could land my arrow on a grass strip if it's you know nicely cut um but i mean and this is not a bush plane by any stretch of the imagination cool so we'll back taxi down two seven um bush plane he says it is it is not a bush plane it is absolutely not a bush plane all right, oil temp looks acceptable to me. We don't even need the full runway length. We can just take it from the uh, we'll take it from the markers there. Uh, a to A pilot says bush plane. Okay, I mean, I guess if he wants to take his plane on some bush strips, go for it. <laughs> I'm not. All right, uh, let's go. Wow, I already screwed this up. What do we do before departure? Lights, camera, action. So landing lights on, cameras, the transponder, that's squawking 2000 and standby. Action is mixture, props full rich, fuel pump on. Let's line up and get out of here. So we're just gonna go runway heading and then make a left turn and hopefully clear those mountains over there. Toga's in chat, everybody. Toga's in chat. Uh, let's see, Anon, sorry. Um, and don't opt for that when you got an 8,500 paved runway. Exactly. <laughs> um, and in this corner, A to A pilot. And in that corner, VR, hey, I, it's his plane. He can do what he wants with it. I'm saying the Comanche is not considered a bush, air, bush aircraft. All right, here we go. Toga's in chat. Clear props in chat, whatever. Airspeed is alive. Engine indications are green. Let's see if we can maintain center line with some right rudder. I love the way this thing shakes. I rotate it 85 knots. Actually, we're kind of light, so 80 knots. There it is. Pitch for 100. There's positive rate gear up. I love the way this thing climbs out, too. All right, we'll fly runway heading here until about 800 feet above, and then we'll make a left turn. Uh, what are you guys saying? Uh, did we get a, I did do a clear prop. Yes, check the replay. Yes, I did. I did a clear prop. All right, prop comes back. 2,400. And we can 
make the left turn now and get on our course. Just turn on the heading bug there. Beautiful scenery. Holy cow, Slovakia, huh? Huh. Never been here in real life. Never been here in the sim. I don't think. I don't know. Maybe we have. Cool. All right, fuel pump can come off. We don't need that. Uh, actually, we can turn landing lights off, too. Strobes can stay on. Beautiful departure. Um, someone uh, added a, uh, oh, a KTS package to the plane, to this plane? So we have uh, actual uh, uh, flight into known icing conditions capability now. That's awesome if that's true. Cool. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and just put the autopilot on here. Why not? Reduce our workload a little bit. We'll fly it in heading mode for a little bit. Um, good. I think we'll clear that mountain range. We'll go up to, let's see, we're going westbound. Uh, I'm sorry, we're not going, well, we're going just on the west side of southbound, so we'll fly it at 8,000 feet today. Sound good to y'all? Uh, Buzz, what's going on? What's going on, man? How you doing? First year in high school, so you're kind of busy. Holy cow, I would imagine so. High school? How's that possible? Hey, good for you. You freshman. You can actually go ahead and put this on uh, track mode. Um, you gotta go? Oh my gosh, you, you, but you just got here. <laughs> no, I get it. That's a School first, obviously. School first was cool. So uh, we should probably do our after takeoff checklists here, uh, our climb checklists. Fuel pumps off. Power. Uh, once it's at 24, 24, I guess we'll square it off. Um, 24, 24. Uh, CHTs look pretty good. Mixture. We can lean a little bit, but not too much. Here is up. Cool. Bruce checks are next. Beautiful. Look at that. Oh gosh. The scenery here is epic. I set the time way back too. We're flying. This is like a morning flight that we're simulating. Uh, so we can actually see where we're going. Look at that little village down there. I love the way it trims out in the climb. I, I've talked about this every time we fly this thing. Like I just, I'm not touching the yoke. Obviously, we're in, you know, we have a roll mode selected for our autopilot, but there's no vertical speed mode. There's nothing. It's just, it's just the aircraft and the way it trims out is so good. Um, Miko, which is better, Piper, Piper or Cessna? What kind of question is that? I'll let you all answer that question for me. What, what kind of question is that? I'll answer it. Piper, of course. Come on. Uh, yeah, this is in miles per hour. No, we don't even get knots on this one. This is just straight up miles per hour. Um, oh, yeah, no, you're right. Knots is on the inside. I see it now. Yep. But the out outer ring there is miles per hour. Which actually is good for me because the arrow has, um, its ASI is, uh, is in miles per hour. So this, this is actually perfect for me. Um... CSD Gaming, what's going on? Hello, VR and chat. Hope all's well. All's awesome. Busy, but awesome. It's good to be finally getting another stream up here, uh, especially in this beauty. How's life? Yeah, I, I think I saw you stream today. As usual, I mean, I did catch I caught your stream over the weekend. Um, but again, the one today was... Uh, the one today was way too early. It was dinner... Was it dinner time or work? I think I was still working. Like, Did you stream or was that yesterday? Maybe it was yesterday, and then wrong side stream today, and it was like right in the middle of work. And, oh man, like, it's like bad times to stream for me. <laughs> oh man, but what's going on, CST? Um, my coffee, yeah, vertical speed, exactly. Uh, oh, Mika, sorry, I was I was joking around. Now Piper is much better than Cessna. It is the only answer to that question. There, there is no other answer. Um, Cessna's are. Uh, honestly, Mika, all, all completely all joking aside, either is good. Um, you know, they're, they're both, you know, the 172 is a great trainer. Uh, 140 is a good trainer. Uh, we're almost 8,000 feet, so let's pay attention to what we're doing here. I'm going to level off at 8. It's 
we're going westbound. Now, I guess we should be simulating a BFR flight, but we'll just not. Let's go at 8,000 feet. We are slightly westbound. We are just on the west side of 180, so that means evens. And let's see if we can get it right at 8,000 feet on the button, and then we'll go ahead and lean things down. All right, there's vertical, or rather uh, altitude hold. It's going to ask for a whole bunch of down trim. And this is pretty realistic. I posted some pictures of my autopilot and in, uh, in the Discord, um, and mine has this thing too, where you need to uh, manually trim it out. There's no um, autopilot will not control the trim wheel in my aircraft, just like it does not in this one. Now, this one has an irritating beep to it. Mine does not do that. It just has a little flashing up-down indicator that uh, constantly yells at you. It's never happy. This one, at least, you can make happy. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's pull up our, uh, our uh, performance numbers. Uh, in the tablet here and see what we need to be doing here at 8,000 feet at 2400 RPM um, 20 inches of manifold pressure actually I'm going to leave it set just like this now we do need to lean it out a little bit though so let's go to lean fine back a little bit. There we go. Let's go ahead and lean out the mixture. I think it wants about... Well, let's trim it first. It's still yelling at us. There we go. Now we can lean this out to... Uh, it's going to be about 14 gallons an hour. I'd be happy with that. gallons an hour, 65 horsepower, 65% brake horsepower, and we're really pushing it now, leanest, okay, now we'll enrich in this, I want at least 65% brake horsepower up here, there we go, all right, we'll leave it right there, 12.8 gallons an hour, happy with that, cool, um, Anon says this far superior, uh, it's correctly engineered, now they put the wings on the wrong place, um, Mika Cessna versus Piper is like X-Plane versus MSFS. That's true. It's like Garmin versus, uh, it's like Garmin pilot. Right? It's like track up versus north up. Um, go ahead and put the noise canceling headset on here if I can. Oh, come on. There it is. There we go. Nice and quiet. Um, yeah, there's a lot of debates in aviation. It's like Ford versus Chevy. Um, Airbus versus Boeing, Air, <laughs> Boeing versus Air Junk. Oh man, you know, that's funny. Um, Boeing lovers are the type of person who hears um, Yanny instead of Laurel. I don't know what that is. I don't get that one. Sorry. Space Ghost Seeker, what's up? How you doing? All is well. Yes, all is well. Yeah, just a nice, relaxing flight or series of flights today. Um, the first leg, like I said, is kind of long, um, but. At least it'll get us used to this aircraft again. And then we'll do another hop or two. Um, it, I think it's all going to be dependent on how much sweat my face can take. Because it's really hot in here tonight. Um, Oliver Garrow, what's going on? When you got your COVID vaccine, your arm was a little sore. Uh, yeah, I remember. I haven't had one recently. I probably probably do for one. Um, yeah, when I got my first three or four at this point, um, yeah, I remember my arm was sore for a couple of days. Um, it goes away. 21 uh, inches of manifold pressure and 1,900 RPM, and she purrs? Really? Uh, we could try that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave it right where it's at. I like to go a little faster. It's not my gas. Um, Space Ghost Seeker family uh, and you had an amazing time at Disney. Oh, cool. You know, I used to be skeptical, but someone kept throwing sand in your eyes and you magically kept uh, tearing up watching your daughter have a good time. <laughs> Funny how that happens. You get, you know, your allergies really start to act up. Um, yeah, exactly. That's awesome. 
yeah i'm not a big disney fan either but uh we did a disney cruise we didn't we didn't go to the park we actually we, we took a uh we took our daughter on a cruise uh, on the, the disney line and uh yeah we had some moments like that a little teary-eyed little creepers in the corner of my eyes they love it um Anon, uh, how come U.S. is still rife with COVID? Um, yeah, because I think at this point it's like the regular flu. Uh, I mean, people are people are getting it, uh, but I mean, I actually we had dinner with uh, uh, friends of ours Saturday night, um, and she, the the wife um, of, of the couple that we're friends with, um, she had it. And she had just gotten, I guess, over it, uh, but she got ha. Anon, actually, she got it in Italy. She was in, in Europe, <laughs> and she got it. Is it still the anti-vax genius? Is it still infecting everyone? No, I don't know. I think it's like the flu vaccine at this point. Uh, Mike, how was the aero flight? It was awesome. Mike, it was awesome. I went from Manassas to uh, Suffolk, uh, which isn't a long flight. It's about an hour. Um, it's Suffolk is just to the uh, to the southwest of Norfolk. Um, and, uh, yeah, they got a restaurant. I actually had never been to that airport before, um, but I was looking up places to go to get barbecue, and uh, and I, I found that place online, and they had really good barbecue. Um, sit outside right there at the restaurant and eat and watch airplanes, and um, there was a jump plane that kept you know going out, dropping parachutists, and then coming back. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was hot as hell, though. I mean, I... I left in the morning and it wasn't too bad. Um, landed, had lunch, and I left at about 12:30. And I climbed up. I just went VFR. On the way back, I was, I think I was at 6,500 feet, and it was nice and cool. The vents were all open. I was feeling good. And then the descent into the DC area. As soon as I got down below 3,000 feet, it was like someone flipped a switch um, to, and turned on an oven. Um, it was immediately humid and hot and uncomfortable and bumpy as hell. The convective. Um, because of all the heating of the day, uh, it, it was brutally hot and really bumpy on the way into uh, Manassas, but still greased the landing. He actually had some ripping crosswinds on the way back in. Winds were calm at Suffolk, but when I came back to Manassas, um, I don't know, I guess it's late afternoon, winds had picked up or whatever, but it was, uh, what was it like? It was a 10 gusting 15, but it was right across the runway, and it was real. It was it wasn't like super, you know, fast gusty winds. It was just really variable. I mean, I was all over the place on final trying to maintain center line. Um, I came in a little fast on purpose, but uh, you know, pulled the power when I needed to. And in the arrow, the 69 arrow, it's really tricky when to pull the power because it doesn't float at all. It drops. Um, but I got the power out just in time, and uh, yeah, squeaked it down on the mains, and boom, it was a good flight. Uh, Mika, you hate Disney. Uh, oh, amusement parks cause sensory overload. That is, yeah. Now you're not the only person that would hate to go to Disney. Um, Mika, yeah, Space Ghost Seeker can be overwhelming because there's so much to do, exactly. Space Ghost said also you were able to do everything together. The park was clean. Yeah, the park is always super clean. Like, that's Disney's thing, right? It's just super clean, amazing family experience. I mean, everything is just, you know, it's all contrived, but by design, right? I mean, I, I don't know. Disney knows what they're doing. Um, the shows and the animations are top-notch, and the park food was good. Now, that's the one thing I remember not being that great. Last time I was at Disney, and it was way before my daughter was born, was the, was the food wasn't that great for the money. But everything else was awesome. Um, that and I almost passed out at Epcot Center because uh, it was so hot. We went there in July. This was like 2002. My dad took us. Um, I mean, I was already an adult uh, at that point. Um, but a lot of my, uh, like my older siblings, um, all their kids were young. And anyway, I went with them and it, it was July. And I walked about halfway around Epcot and I started to get busy. And I had to go back to the hotel and uh, I pretty much slept the rest of the day. And no, I didn't have, like, all the world of beers thing you do at Epcot either. That was not the cause that time. Um, they're a money printing machine. Yes, that's a good point, Anon. Uh, Mike, don't forget to switch tanks. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give it till uh, that first notch there, and then we'll switch it on over. Thank you for the reminder. 
Um, you can, and you would have to go to another country for it, too. Oh, that's true. You don't. There's no Disney in Australia. That's actually surprising. Because I think they have... Is there still Euro Disney? And there's one in Japan. I'm surprised there's not one in Australia. Huh. It's kind of a bummer. How's the music, folks? Volumes are okay. I'm still kind of checking on the new uh, the, the new streaming software. Making sure the vote uh, the vote. <laughs> I almost said vocals. <laughs> my vocals are okay. Bring up my levels. Um, making sure the aircraft volume compared to music, compared to my... What I'm realizing is kind of a scratchy voice. I think I am getting sick, folks. This sucks. Um, no one's going to go that far to Australia. I'll, I'll go to Australia in a heartbeat. Mika, you have Lunar Park instead in Sydney and Melbourne. Okay. What's a Lunar Park? Is that like a big amusement park? And White Coffee now has, uh, what, 17 liveries now for the uh, Comanche? <laughs> Let's take a look outside. And then, yeah, Mike, we probably should switch tanks. We're almost to that little first little notch there. So this is Central Eastern Europe. That looks pretty epic. I don't know. Kind of looks like Pennsylvania, to be honest with you. <laughs> like, I, it looks good to me, but, I mean, all this scenery looks good in MSFS. Love that little Comanche. Let's see where we are, unless you live in New Zealand. Oh, the other parks are closer, um, unless you live in New Zealand. Huh. I'm sure if you live in New Zealand, there's enough to do without having to have an amusement park. I, I don't know. I could think of a million things to do there. Uh, you have nine liveries, uh, Mike Coffee. Holy cow. Um, uh, Mika, yeah, it's an amusement park. Okay, Lunar Park. I assume that is uh, space-themed. Let's pull up our map here and see where the heck we are in the world. Uh... Well, this isn't going to help me at all, because... Let's see, we are uh, flying over... Uh, hang on a second. Did my settings get all jacked up? No, oh, use larger scale map. Okay, it's just my eyesight is terrible, I guess. Pol Poltar? And then Lubric? Oh my gosh, I don't know. Beautiful, though. Man, it looks awesome. I guess this is all part of World Update 14. Do they improve the uh, like the ground textures and stuff too? They must. Uh, it's not space themed. Okay. Um, Bungie. Oh, hey now, weren't we? <laughs> ah, oh no, I was talking to somebody at the airport actually at lunch about bungee jumping and skydiving. Um, and yeah, no, I'm out on bungee jumping uh, and skydiving. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and switch tanks. So fuel pump on. Uh, verifying fuel pressure and fuel flow. Let's turn this one on before we turn the other one off. Fuel pressure still looks good. Fuel flow, 12.7 gallons an hour. Fuel pump can come off. Very good. Um, you don't know the theme, but you've got a clown face at the entrance. Okay, then I'm out. I would absolutely, nope, I'm out. If it's, if it's got a giant clown face at the entrance, uh, you lost me. You, you, you lost me at clown face. <laughs> I don't like clowns. I don't like clowns one bit. No thanks. Um, it looks a bit cursed. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, when I visit Australia, I probably will not be visiting Lunar Park. Uh, I hate to say it. Sorry. Uh, Space Ghost Seeker, uh, talking to Mika, you've always wanted to visit Australia. Yeah, me too. Me too. Um, Closest you go. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read Space Ghost Secret comment. But that's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, Bungie is a young man's game. Jumping out of airplanes um, is a young young man's game, young person's game. Yeah, no doubt. Um, Gamer for life. What's going on? Uh, I think I probably missed one of your comments. If I did, I'm sorry. But thinking about building one in Adelaide, uh, Disney. Oh damn. Okay. Cool. You know what is that icon? I don't know what that even is. That emoji you put in there, I don't know. Um, Gamer for Life, though, what's going on? Good to see you. It does look kind of creepy. <laughs> Nothing like a creepy amusement park. I've seen too many horror movies uh, to want to uh, visit a creepy amusement park. Look at that. 
I'll tell you where I do want to visit is Central Eastern Europe, where World Update 14 has uh, gotten uh, given the love. Um, Mika Melbourne one is all right, since it's more of a mime than a clown. <laughs> You're losing me even more. I, mimes are even more terrifying, in my opinion, than clouds. Clowns. Why do we have a message flashing? No, we don't. Actually, let me do one thing here. Uh, I don't have this navigator in real life. I wish I did. But what I want to do is give ourselves a little bit of VNAV guidance, because I'm lazy. Uh, why don't we try to arrive there uh, five miles beforehand? There we go. So we'll enter. You know what? I want to be there at 1,600 feet. So um, airport elevation is 651 feet. So we'll say pattern altitude is 1,600 feet. Uh, five miles uh, before we get to the airport. And I'll go ahead and save that. So that'll give us a nice top of descent point on our map. Uh, if we zoom out. So we're just going to fly. Yeah, there it is. There's TOD. Um, because we're just going to fly the pattern and uh, and just do it visually. And we'll pull up. Uh, we'll get we'll get the extended center line on our uh, 750 NXI in a minute here. Um, oh, it's a fishing hook. Oh, okay, gotcha. Rod and line to fish uh, would be more accurate. Gotcha. Um, sorry, Mike. So you use a spare tank, still six gallons aside, uh, then main tanks. Is that right? I. I think so. Uh, yeah, burning off the tip tanks first uh, is the way to do it. I don't, I don't have tip tanks either. Um, I've never flown an aircraft with tip tanks. Uh, I've flown in someone with a Bonanza that had tip tanks, and honestly, I forget how they um, manage their fuel. But I'm pretty sure it's tip tanks first. Um, Mika, you'll um, have to be born here to find it less creepy. <laughs> How about a clown who's miming? Uh, no, that's pretty... I'm going to have nightmares tonight. Uh, no, no thank you. Um, Ginge, what's going on? How are you? Good to see you. How has your week been? What is it, Wednesday? You're halfway through? Actually, more than halfway through. We're on the, the, the downhill slide in the weekend. MSFS is looking good. Comanche's looking epic. Yeah. Anyway, good to see you, Ginge. What's up? Uh, Miki, you just grew up with it. <laughs> if I grew up with mimes and clowns, um, I would I would move. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Mika, and um, you also walk into its smile. Oh, my God. You walk into, like, a clown's mouth? <laughs> no, that's terrifying absolutely terrifying that's not an amusement park that's a, a terror park in my opinion i'm sure it's fun i'm just playing around uh ginge uh, you've been good working a lot so apologize not being in streams oh, no worries and honestly ginge we haven't streamed that much <laughs> recently i think the last one we did was it was friday so it was less than a week ago but not as often as usual um just, just been busy but yeah after this one um we'll do um We'll do the FNO on Friday night. So we'll get back into an airliner of some sort. Uh, and uh, and we'll fly uh, some busy fat sim stuff. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try to get that stream posted early so you all can fly along. We can have a little uh, group flight on fat sim uh, during an event. Maybe we'll go as VR Airlines too, right? Hang on, I'll use the uh, VRA uh, livery and call sign. And... Uh, do a little VRA takeover of events and event. Um, yeah, ain't on. I, yeah, exactly. I'm not gonna sleep. <laughs> gonna need to take some uh, Nyquil tonight <laughs> to get to sleep. Um, don't know if it's a clown, Mika. Hard to describe it, but it looks more creepy than I imagine. Oh, good. Even creepier than a clown mime combo. Awesome. Well, it, hopefully they have good rides because that sounds terrifying. Oops, wrong button. Pro streamer. There we go. God, this countryside is beautiful. It's like little villages in these valleys all over the place. It's just epic. 
Um, uh, oh, and at Lunar Park, there was a roller coaster that killed five people. <laughs> You're really selling me on this. You'd be great at marketing for uh, Lunar Park. Come to Lunar Park. We have a creepy clown mouth entrance and rides that have killed five people in the past. So if you hate clowns and mimes and could potentially die, come on down. Ride the, what do you guys have, like roller coasters that loop around and stuff? Huh. I like roller coasters. I kind of like the old ones, though, like the wooden ones, the, <clears throat> the real rickety ones that... Uh, they make a lot of noise and kind of throw you around. Like they have just that lap bar, like no seat belts or, or uh, you know, shoulder you know, brackets that hold you in. It's just a lap bar uh, that was probably part of a, a, a piece of machinery that was built in 1952. Yeah, I like those. Um, yeah, VRA taking over the skies. Heck yeah. Uh, my coffee started last week flying the Comanche. You had weather turned off and things got icy. Ooh. Okay. Space Ghost Secret uh, the park reminds you of the old school movie Killer Class from Outer Space. Exactly. Oh, that's a cult classic. You know, you got some excellent parks in the UK uh, for those who like big rides. Um, Alton Towers, Thorpe Park. Okay. I think I've heard of Alton Towers. Is that, what's the beach? Uh, is it Blackpool? Isn't there like a big amusement park like by uh, Blackpool? Uh,. Mika, uh, no fire, uh, but five. Yeah, five people. Oh. Jin, Jeb, about to do a short flight. DCA to Boston. Nice. Oh, and the Neo. Awesome. That's a good flight. That's a good quick hop on a Wednesday night. That's a good one. Um, wrong way, VR. Only <laughs> respects flights from DCA to Atlanta. Exactly. <laughs> uh, Alton Towers is your favorite, Jin. You go there like four times a year. Where is Alton Towers? Uh, Mike, now you want to fly the Comanche after this flight, as you should. Uh, okay, you know, so there is one at Blackpool, but it's not a theme park. Okay. Hop Top, what's going on? What is up, sir? Good to see you. Good to see you in chat, too, uh, or in uh, Discord. I think you posted up a, was it a video, Hop Top? Anyway, good to see you. Um, you know, though, what's at Blackpool? I thought, oh, it's like a boardwalk, right? It, like, it's a it's a promenade kind of thing. It's a, it, I know Blackpool is on the sea, um, but I've never been there. I, I've just heard that there are some, like, good amusements and, like, uh, uh like carnival games and things like that. Uh, it's modern, but the origins are from Vic yeah the Victorian era exactly. Yeah, don't they have what do they have there? Like a big tower? Isn't there? A, is it a tower or a wheel? They have like a big uh, uh, like a, a wheel, right? Uh, Voxel, what is going on? Don't you just get a lot more joy out of GA? Yeah, I kind of do. Voxel, yes, a little bit. I love GA. Uh, Alton Towers is close to Stoke on Trent. Okay, okay. Uh, Divage, what's going on? Pleasure Beach is at Blackpool or something like that. Okay. Divage, what's up, man? Nice to see you. Man, it's awesome to see all y'all. Actually, man, I should say, actually, I missed all of you. I missed streaming. It's been like the weekend after Friday. The weekend just got busy and then, you know, flying, uh, uh, flying down to Suffolk on, uh, uh, I guess that was Sunday. Um, you know, obviously, I didn't. I didn't want to stream Saturday night just because I wanted to. You know, was trying to get out of here early on Sunday, so wanted to get some rest. So Saturday was out, and then Sunday I was just kind of wiped. Um, hung out with family Sunday, Monday as well, and then yesterday was work stuff. And, and uh, uh, honestly, oh, my daughter was sick yesterday too, so I didn't want to. Didn't want to pop in a stream with her not feeling well. Um, so yeah, those are my excuses for why we have not popped up a stream recently. But here we are, back in the Comanche. And yeah, um, uh, Voxel, yeah, GA, so chill, so fun. Uh, you went there years ago? Uh, David to Blackpool, okay. Uh, Staffordshire, Staffordshire, oh man, I'm going to butcher that one too. Staffordshire, near Alton, okay. CST, uh, sorry you said hello earlier, then <laughs> step away for a phone call. <laughs> no worries, man, all's good, yeah, all is awesome. Hopefully things are well with you too. Finally got to catch uh, almost all of a CST gaming stream, folks. Uh, if you have not already done so, uh, please go immediately. Open up another tab. It's easy in Chrome. Um, you can even do it while you're watching this stream. Open up another Chrome and, uh, tab in Chrome or your browser of choice. 
uh, navigate to YouTube, search up CST Gaming, uh, and hit the uh, uh, subscribe uh, button, and uh, also the join button, because it is a hell of a lot of fun over there. And most, I would say, uh, not most, but a lot of the people that uh, hang out on this channel hang out on uh, CST's streams as well, and I try to when... <laughs> when I'm not working or eating dinner. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, Hot Top, you put that time lapse. That's right, that's right. I love those time lapses. You've done those before. You know, it was originally the private estate of the Earls of Shrewsbury. Excellent. Ah. Um, Mike, good. No, no, no. She had a cold. Negative COVID. Uh, but no, she had a uh, just a cold. Uh, but yeah, Mike, thanks for asking. Um, Alton Towers, you're talking about first opened in 1860. Oh, Alton is the Victorian era uh, theme park, um, but as the original towers. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Uh, Anon is absolutely correct. It is great over there at CST's Place. Hey, that'd be a good name uh, for your channel also, CST Gaming. Come to CST's Place. I'm trying to think of a good... Uh, intro if I were doing a commercial for you, CST. Come to CST's place where the flying is fun, the community is great, and we just have a good time. CST's place, your one-stop shop for pro streaming and a good time. There you go. How's that? Um, my coffee love persistent settings. <laughs> yeah, I have those turned off. Um, Anon, you should join uh, when able. We'll go full Southwest. Yeah, that'd be fun. All right. Well, I'll take off work <laughs> or uh, bail out on family dinner. <laughs> Voxel said, uh, ever do shared flights with Chet? Not yet. I got to hook that up. I, I know I owe a lot of people a lot of that. Um, yeah, like a shared flight with Discord. Uh, like voice chat. I don't know if we could do that. I got to figure out how to pipe in like Discord audio into a live stream. But uh, Voxel, we do, uh, I mean, I post, uh, except this flight I'm offline and I didn't post the routes because I was going to be offline anyway. 95% um, of the time for any of the flights I do on a stream, I post the uh, departure and arrival information along with the full route so you guys can fly along on Batsim. Um CST sure did go full southwest. Uh oh, what happened? What happened, CST? Uh, Anon, no, sorry. Blackpool was the original Victorian seaside amusement park. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mike Coffee, uh, 69 Arrow, beige panel. Uh, no, my panel is black. Now, it's black like this, but then down here, it is a fake plastic wood grain. Um, Mike, I put a bunch of pictures of the arrow from my last flight up uh, on the Discord if you're curious. Uh, I, I kind of took some zoomed out full panel shots so you can see um, the Franken panel that is in the arrow. It is all different avionics, uh, but it all works really well together. Um, it's all over, old over there, ain't on exactly. Uh, it's doable. Uh, you're the first in line, but only in the 737. Uh, yeah, so getting like Discord voice audio in, I think I can figure that out. I think we could figure that out. Now that would have to be off that sim though. I couldn't, I, I don't, there's no way that we could have like, you know, five or 10 people chatting voice on Discord and pay attention to, uh, to, um, to what do you call it? To, to VAT sim instructions. I don't think that would work, but maybe offline. Uh, Voxel, next time uh, join if you're there. Yeah, just uh, any of the streams that were on VAT sim, I, I post the routing um, so you can, you can see where we're going and, and join in. And a lot of times, um, you know, I'll join VATSIM even if there's no ATC online. And then it does kind of become a group flight with, uh, and we're all just kind of chatting on Unicom or 123, uh, whatever that kind of party line uh, frequency is. Look at that river down there. That's epic. Where are we? You can't really see too much of the like the details of World Update 14, but man, it looks pretty epic from 8,000 feet, I will say. Uh, Mike, yeah, check out the Discord for pics of that arrow. Um, 
uh, the arrow from the uh, last flight. Uh, hop top, sometimes flight recorder doesn't always work when you're gonna do time lapses after recording the flight. Oh, bummer, yeah, I don't, I don't have a flight recorder. It was, I, I tried one once, like a replay tool, and it was really hard to use in VR. VR just adds that extra dimension of difficulty to everything in the sim, uh, especially when streaming. Uh, Mike, you got over the fact that you lost cash on the Just Flight Arrow. Yeah, it's a bummer. It's a good airplane, they just the flight model sucks. Like once you fly the Comanche, you, you realize that Just Flight is not even in the same league. I mean, perfect example, like on that departure, um, the way I had it trimmed out for about a 100, 105 knot pl or mile an hour climb at, you know, a thousand feet per minute. I mean, that was just hands off with trim. Like this thing just trims out and flies so true. Uh, but uh, try trimming the just flight arrow for hands off flight. You, you can't do it. You, just, you can't do it. You cannot. Uh, and on the last bit of UK theme park trivia, Alton Towers Park opened in 1980. Oh, okay. So that one's not that old. Not that old. See, that's not old. Like, we have theme parks here that are older than that. <laughs> Maybe 1975. Uh, Mike, uh, flying the Warrior, you um, can relate. You've got some hours in uh, in that in real life. Okay, so, so yeah, so you can fly the Just Flight uh, Warrior and compare it to real life, and I'm sure you'll realize that it is uh, not even... Uh, close to, to reality. Beautiful view, man. What a great idea this was. Bumpasso, what's going on, man? Hey, hey, hey. How are you? Good to see you, sir. Uh, Captain Bombasso is in the house. What's up? Um, Bombasso, hope your week is going great. It's good to see you in chat, sir. Voxel uh, Motion, you always thought you were just bad at trimming. No, it's not you, it's them. It's not you, it's me. Yeah, it's it's definitely not you. you. You are probably a very fine, proficient pilot. It is your aircraft that is giving you fits. Uh, Bombasa, you're studying as usual. Oh, man, awesome. Good for you. Shepherd Air for the win. Shepherd Air for the win, sir. You got this. When's your written? It's got to be soon, right? Um, yeah, and I agree. You can't. It's, it's not even possible. It trims. <laughs> All right, so the arrow does trim okay in um, in one regime of flight, and that would be uh, sitting on the ground. <laughs> uh, that's funny. You know, that is very true. Oh, Budapest. Okay, I was like, this is a major population center that we're flying over. Uh, so this is Budapest, and, and even I, with my horrible geography, know that Budapest is uh, in Hungary. I'm pretty sure it's the capital. I'm pretty sure that's the main airport uh, for Budapest right down there. So uh, we are now in the same country as our destination airport, so that's cool. Budapest is pretty good. Look at this. Budapest is big. Holy cow. All right, trivia question that I don't know the answer to. What is the river uh, that uh, cuts through Budapest? I'm going to make a guess. And this is a, a wild guess. Is it the Danube? Does the Danube River cut through Budapest? I've never been to Budapest. No, I have not. Um, Mike, you love. Uh, you hope the Black Square TBM will be Black Square Flight Dynamics and not just ju and not just flight. Yeah, same. I would imagine it would be. I mean, well, although I don't know because Black Square are like the kings of the panel and the avionics. Uh, I don't think they touch the flight models, right? I don't know. But that's going to be a day one purchase, that 850. But boss, okay, the 16th. Well, that's pretty soon. But you got to be pretty ready, though. If you're using Shepard to study, I mean, if you've been following their system, you're, you're, I'm sure you're ready. All right, uh, Lima Hotel Bravo Papa. That must be like Budapest's main international airport down there. I love the 752. Look at that. It's so accurate with the glide ring. It even gives you, like, this one will give you a vector. 
uh, to your uh, closest airport in the event of an emergency within your glide ring. So Four Flight does that too, but man, to have that in the panel, so cool. Yeah, I would do some things to get to GTN 750 NXI. I, I would, I would do some things. Um, but no, Anon, I've never been into Budapest uh, in uh, in any aircraft, sim or otherwise. But we may have to change that. That looks pretty epic. I mean, this whole thing looks epic. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, Micah, what's up, man? Uh, looks kind of like what you did today. Yes, that's right. Except uh, less beachy and more central, eastern European-y. Uh, Micah flew... Uh, Ooh, well, I don't want to say from where to where, but you know, if you want to give that information out, you can. But no, it looked like an awesome flight from the pics that I saw, man. The, the, did you safety pilot again, or did you actually do any of the of the flying? Um, Zach, what's going on, Zach Hamilton? Uh, we are uh, we're flying over Hungary, and we're going to. I gotta look it up because I don't know <sighs> off the top of my. So, uh, Lima Hotel Papa Papa, which is Pex, Pex P Pagani, uh, Hungary. This is one of the uh, bespoke airports, and we flew out of, I have to look this up too, um, Tatri Paprad, or Paprad, Tatri Paprad, Slovakia. Another bespoke airport with World Update 14, and we're flying into Pex Pagani. Uh, Hungary, and we should probably check the weather and see which runway we're going to be using here. If I can, let's see if Bat Sim Radio will come on for us. Hey, there we go. All right, it's back. So, Lima Hotel Papa Papa. Uh, looks like uh, it's not going to give that information up, so that sucks. Huh. Well, let's use this airport info. Lima Hotel Papa Papa I guess it's faster to go the other way Search Lima Hotel Papa Papa Pex Pogani Airport uh, Winds 050 at 5 3018 on the altimeter because I have mine set to inches of mercury. So 050 at five knots. So we'll use runway 16. Um, and we'll fly the pattern. We'll do a visual. Um, we're not going to do a straight in. We'll actually enter the pattern and fly uh, the uh, traffic pattern for 16. Cool. Um. Get away for the SimWorks Studios TBM mic. Okay, yeah, they'll do a good job with it too. Um, Mike, this plane I'm flying power first trim after where uh, MSFS 2020 plane to the opposite. Oh, this is the Danube. Boom. That's right. The Danube. I got it. Boom. Members. Hmm. Did somebody join? Uh, Zach, you were hungry uh, a while ago before dinner. Oh, hungry. <laughs> uh, Zach Hamilton, you win a prize. Or you, let's see, what does Zach Hamilton win for that punny uh, remark? Zach Hamilton wins a free copy of uh, Vatsim Radio. Uh, Zach, you win uh, Vatsim Radio, uh, your uh, one and only tool for uh, your VR flying, uh, the only one you need. The only one you should get uh, for flying VR VATSIM uh, in MSFS. That's VATSIM Radio, and you've won a free copy DM in Discord for details on how to claim your prize. Um, uh, Pex sounds like best. <laughs> Maybe. Um, oh, okay. Oh, uh, Micah, cool. So you uh, split safety down, and uh, she safety's on the way back. Okay, cool. So you got some. Did you shoot any approaches or anything? That's awesome. Uh, Sierra Charlie Delta to uh, for Romeo 9 and back. Nice. Very nice. If you click the tablet icon in top menu, it'll come back. Oh, like up here. Okay. It, it came back. That's weird. Um, 
And oh, that's right. Yes, the METAR command is working. Nice. Dad joke. All right. Streamlab says, uh, got a new suit recently made entirely of living plants. You weren't sure at first, but it grew on you. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Zach, you always wanted the free version? Well, you've won. Uh, pest, pest best translation from Hungarian to English. <laughs> well, wasn't Buda and uh, Budapest, wasn't that a combination of two cities like way back in the day? Isn't that how Budapest got its name? I seem to remember a little bit of history related to that, but I don't know. I, I think maybe I, maybe it's a bridge too far. I got Danube correct. Uh, in my own quiz question I answered. Uh, I'm not going to go any further and show my lack of knowledge. Uh, Mike, Buddha and Pest are actually two places. Okay. No approaches, Mike. You just wanted to get in uh, before it rained, so you just came back in. Ah, good call. And Anna, the river divides the two. Okay, so Buddha, Pest, not historically, but currently are two separate cities and the Danube divides the two. There you go. See, this channel isn't all just about uh, aviation and hanging out and VR and having a good time. It's about uh, learning and uh, expanding our knowledge of the world. Uh, look at those weird lines down there. Is that... That doesn't look right, does it? Like, look at the lines on those fields. That's crazy. Not sure if that's supposed to be there or if that's like some sort of Bing Maps glitch. It still looks pretty epic, I don't know. And again, I don't know if this is all like World Update 14 updated stuff and it didn't used to look like this, but the scenery is really cool. Love it. Uh Mike, you have to wait uh, for some people to pass away before you go and visit. Ah, that's morbid. <laughs> um, Anon, we fly, we learn. VR Airlines, exactly. It's not all about aviation and uh, watching a, uh, a, uh, <laughs> a wannabe Comanche pilot fly a virtual airplane. It's about learning. A good pilot is always learning, right? Isn't that what uh, Jason uh, Shepard always says? Love that guy. Uh, let's see. So fuel's looking pretty balanced. I think we'll leave it. Eh, we got 70 miles. Eh, we'll switch tanks. Eh. Soon-ish. So this is definitely the longest of the legs that I planned. Uh, the other ones uh, are, well, they will not be this long. My face is already getting hot. It's probably 80 degrees in this office right now with the PC running and the headset and all that. Um, and the little fan that I have blowing is, is not, it's not keeping up. Um, ain't on someone went mad with the tractors. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Some Hungarian had a few too many, whatever the local, schnapps is here in Hungary and just went nuts with a really big tractor too. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, uh, Mike, uh, not the slogan you want your airline to have. Oh, come on. It promotes education. Uh, you know, I don't know. Mike, uh, they got to fix uh, Vancouver, British Columbia. It looks like a new, a new blast. Jeez. Uh, sorry about the people. Some evil people won't get into it. <laughs> well, it looks like a nuclear blast went off. Yeah. I, mm. uh, Kristen, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome to the chat. It's good chatting with you over in Discord earlier. Um, good flight suggestion, by the way. Uh, we will uh, do that one. I think there's an FNO Saturday night. I think you, you had some recommendations for, I think it was Phoenix. And I think there is an FNO, or it's an SNO, I guess, on Saturday. Um, and on water, I need water. Uh, Zach, you rarely fly GA, but does this plane have autopilot? Yes, a very rudimentary uh, uh, rate-based autopilot. Uh, and it's an S-Tech, what is this thing? Oh, it's an oh, S-Tech 30, I think. Um, so yes, it does. It has the ability to hold a, uh, well, it has the ability to hold kind of a, a roll mode 
um, ability to hold heading and also um, it's not GPSS but it will hold the track um, based on what you have um, on your uh, well, HSI which is actually getting data from the 750 NXI so yes it does have autopilot and it does have altitude hold um, but that's about it it will not as far as I know fly like a coupled uh, GP, ah, um, jeez, oh, like a coupled ILS approach uh, with the vertical, um, uh, you know, with the vertical path, it'll fly the localizer, uh, but it won't fly the vertical. So, yeah, it does. It's just not a very good one. And honestly, Zach, I, I've talked about this on other streams. They've modeled it. A, a to A has modeled the crappiness of this autopilot. Like an STEC 30 is an old analog. Uh, rate-based autopilot um, and A to A has modeled how bad it is. It's very accurately, <laughs> it's very accurately modeled in its poorness. Um, yeah, I need some water. Exactly. Hang on. Yes. Uh, send some of that weather to British Columbia. Mid-70s. Oh, God, I would kill. I would kill for mid-70s. It, it, we hit a record at Dulles of 100 degrees today. And it's going to be 97 tomorrow. And our air conditioning in this old house, it doesn't keep up. It just doesn't. Uh, Voxel, is the uh, GTN XI 750 capable enough for VATSIM? 100%. Yes. I've never had an issue. I've, and it just took an update. Uh, I'm sorry. Well, the, the Garmin um, the Garmin trainer that backs the 750, the TDS, um, took an update about, was that about a month and a half ago, two months ago? So, yeah, it's 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 fine. I've never had an issue, not once. Um, Mike, yeah, it does. It's not your father. It is your father's autopilot. It's it's not your modern digital autopilot. Um, Micah, that's right. That's Friday night. Yes, Kansas, Memphis. Yep, we'll do it. Oh, walking on Memphis. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that song is terrible. Uh, Mike, you like old style navigation? VOR radio navigation? Close to the top of the sun. Getting close to our destination. <laughs> I do need water, man. It, like, I'm dying. Oh, God. I'm hotter now than I was on that 2200 nautical mile uh, 2000 sub stream. We have a replacement for water, though. Something else that is <clears throat> hydrating and refreshing. Well, it was when it was cold. Now it's room temperature and kind of nasty. Um, Mike, old style instruments, you'd love it. Unlike the uh, DA, the the uh, diamond, the uh, flying iPad. Uh, where are the localizer deviation indications? Uh, HSI. Right here. So your CDI, basically for uh, lateral guidance. Uh, you know, I take it back. This one, well, so the autopilot's not going to fly it, but yeah, you, you do have a glide slope too for vertical, and then you've got your, uh, your CDI for the uh, lateral when you are uh, on the localizer. I think we've flown ILSs with this one before. I mean, I guess we could, I don't think there is an ILS to 1.6 is the problem. Um, we could we could do an ILS into one of these airports if, if there is one, like let's see, LHPP. Yeah, there's an RNP, so LPV only, so we can't fly LPV approaches with this. There's an NDB, I'm not gonna fly an NDB, and, and we're, we're gonna be visual, so. Um, and we can fly the circling to three, four, but honestly, I want to get on the ground and get off to the next one. So uh, we'll fly the visual to one, six. Like I said, we'll fly the pattern. Um, we'll basically enter a, and we'll just do a direct entry left down one, one, six, and, and we'll fly it that way. Uh, right here on the HSI, the course deviation indicator bar here in the HSI, well, that's the localizer. Um, well, it's, you know, basically it's your lateral deviation indication there for, you know, if you're tracking a VOR, uh, or in this case, it's it's slave to the 750, uh, or if you're on a localizer, your, uh, your, your uh, deviation bar will tell you how far uh, left or right you are off course. Uh, topped out at 93 today, so it's cooler down where you are than it was here. That's nuts. Mike, 97, you say we'll send some... Um, 
over right away. I'll split the difference in Haiti 100%. It felt like 103 due to humidity. Here, at least, it was dry. I mean, it, it felt like an oven. I walked the dog, and it, honestly, it felt, and it kind of smelled like a sauna. <laughs> like, just everything's dry and baked out because we haven't had any rain. Um, so it, it felt and kind of smelled like a sauna. Uh, and on only mid 80s oh that's brutal with no air conditioning yeah you guys need to get you guys in the uk you gotta get on the air conditioning bandwagon come on i know you got you, you like to do things old school i get it but yeah get some ac units put in come on you guys have those good ac units though those hitachis the um, kind of the room uh, uh room air conditioners those work so well uh, Mike, 12 on the manifold pressure for landing. Uh, whoa, horsey, pull back on the reins. Yeah, we'll see how we get on here. I don't know, Mike. I don't know. I'm going to fly it like I fly the arrow, to be honest. It wants 90 miles an hour on approach. Like, if we pull up the checklist. Um, 90 miles an hour, uh, to me, I, I've flown this thing several times. 90 miles an hour is, is too fast in this thing. Now, I guess because we're kind of light. Um, so I'm going to fly it at 80. Like, look, uh, like the, um, you know, VSO is what, 65 knots? There's, there's no chance of flying that at 90. No chance. Uh, top of descent is coming up. Uh, 30 centigrade. Yes, that is hot. Uh, fuel change one more time. Yes, Voxel, yes. Before TOD, uh, we will, before we change kind of the regime of flight. I don't like to mess around with fuel changes. Uh, if I can avoid it uh, when I'm in anything other than kind of straight level flight. I mean, I will if necessary, but yes, one more time before top of descent. We'll switch tanks. Good call. Hey, no, you're stuck in the past, exactly. You go Japanese. They make good air conditioners. Uh, Ginge, no, I'm not on that sim. Uh, as Anon and Micah discuss uh, the amazing scenery being developed uh, for uh, uh, for Micah. Um, but Ginge, no, this is this is a, a rarity. But no, we're not on that sim tonight. We decided to just kind of go go and chill offline. Comanche, Central Eastern Europe, flying. So. I know I, I, it's funny at the last minute, the very last minute, actually I had already set up the flight and I was like, oh, maybe I'll pop on Batsim. And then I said, you know what? No, I, cause I never posted the real routing. And honestly, I didn't even post which airports we were going to fly to first and second. So yeah, we're just, we're just straight up offline tonight. Sorry. Uh, oh, you know, you got the beacon, the tower and the beacon. Nice. Mike, uh, check DG and altimeter. Either push the button or hit D. Yes. Definitely need to set our altimeter. Gyro's good. We're at what? Two. About 190. And that matches the whiskey compass. Um, yeah, let's switch tanks here. So, fuel pump on. Monitor fuel pressure, fuel flow. Left tank on, right tank off. Fuel pressure still good, fuel flow still good. Fuel pump off. And let us get the weather. Uh, Zero five zero five ten miles visibility, no clouds reported, and then Q and H uh, one zero two two. But we'll use the thirty eighteen setting, Ooh, which is much less. Yep. Awesome. Uh, D for DG. I don't have a. I don't have a keyboard, so. Uh, Ginge, why is your auto throttle tab in the 320 saying Toga LK? I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, Voxel, do you turn the fuel pump on when you change tanks to avoid a lack of fuel provision to the engine? It's kind of a safety measure just to make sure that, um, that fuel is, 
being uh, pumped to the engine. I mean, obviously the mechanical fuel pump is the one that um, is primary for feeding the engine um, fuel, uh, you know, at all times during flight. Um, but as a ab, you know, as a backup, as a safety measure, uh, you turn on the um, the electric fuel pump uh, when you switch tanks, um, just to, as a as a backup. I mean, it's a, I mean, last thing you want is for something to go wrong when you're changing tanks. I mean, this goes for when you're flying a. I mean, I, I do the exact same thing in the Arrow too, and, and I would imagine I've never flown a like a 140 or any of the other Pipers, but it, it's the same exact same principle. Whereas a Cessna, I mean, you got high wings, and on the tanks are above you, gravity feeds, uh, gravity feeds the fuel down <clears throat> into a sump um, that then feeds the engine, and a Piper. Is a mechanically driven fuel pump that uh, that feeds the engine uh, fuel um, from either tank, and you know it, that's why you turn the fuel pump on on departure, uh, and you turn the fuel pump on when you're uh, you know when you're landing too, just to in case something happens to the mechanical fuel pump. That's the last thing you want is is to have fuel starvation. Um, And on uh, Toga LK means the Airbus sensed a low speed condition and automatically commanded full Toga. Huh. You need to reduce the thrust levers into the manual thrust and then back into the climb detent. There you go. I don't think I've ever seen that in the Airbus. All right, we're getting close. We're 33 miles away. Top of descent is coming up. Um, like I said, pattern altitude here is going to be 1,600 feet. I'm just doing that based on Field elevation being about 600 feet, so you know usually pattern altitude is going to be a thousand feet above um, field elevation. So we shall start down uh, very soon. Now I cheated. Well, I didn't cheat. I used the technology afforded to me uh, to set a. Uh, to set a uh, kind of an altitude constraint five miles uh, prior to the airport um, at 1,600 feet. So it's gonna give us a nice TOD point. Um, now you can calculate that manually if you want to. GA, it's kind of the rule of, I use the rule of three in an airliner. I use the rule of five in, in the arrow and it works out pretty nicely. So the altitude you wanna lose uh, uh, divided by five, I'm sorry, times five uh, gives you, and then drop all the zeros, that gives you how many uh, nautical miles you want to begin your descent, and that's about a 500 feet per minute descent rate. But in this case, we have a fabulous GTN 750 NXI that will just do it for us, so why not? It's called Toga Lock, it's stall protection. Okay, cool. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is cracking. I need to take a uh, big sip of uh, liquid. Oh, man. It is so hot in here. Oh, my God. This is like a like an endurance event. <laughs> but it's worth it. Look how beautiful. Look at this. Gorgeous. Yeah, Hungary looks a lot like Pennsylvania. Who knew? It kind of looks like Redding, Pennsylvania with the mountains and everything. I don't know what the approach is going to look like, but this is kind of like what it looks like flying into Redding, uh, which is kind of close to where my dad lives. So that's kind of cool. Mike, you want a 69 arrow? I'll sell you one. Since Anon is gone, uh, now you can be the crazy mod without restraint. <laughs> Mike has all the power. Uh... <laughs> go nuts. Micah is power hungry. Um, my cool panel, uh, love making old new. Yeah, the, yeah, I like the panel on the arrow. It's, it's not pretty at all to look at, um, but man, it all works really well together. It just does. Cool. Top of descent is coming up. We'll fly over those mountains and then, uh, I guess land. <laughs> Oh man. Um, 
Micah, uh, oh yeah, yeah, 68 Cherokee. Yeah, Micah's Cherokee looks awesome too. Paint, interior. Yeah, Micah's, Micah's Cherokee is a lot prettier than uh, my arrow, that is for sure. But you also put a ton of like sweat equity into that thing, Micah. I mean, that, yeah, I mean, nobody could say like, oh, I'm jealous of Micah's, uh, you know, paint or his interior because I mean that's all blood, sweat, tears. So um, that's awesome. We got kind of luck. Well, I guess luck, not lucky. I mean, we we searched for a long time to find the right plane. Um, so I, I bought mine with uh, with the avionics installed. All right, let's do it. Um, we're going to disengage the altitude hold, and we'll pull the first of all enrich in the mixture, and we'll pull this back to I don't know seventeen hundred RPM. I forget honestly which uh, power setting gives us good 500 feet per minute descent rate. I want to say it was 1,700 feet per minute. Let's see. <clears throat> the landing light's on. And get down to 1,600 feet and then fly the approach visually. Uh, and what we can do too is put up the um, visual 1-6. Give us a nice extended center line. That's fine. Back, back to our map. There we go. Nice uh, extended center line for 1 6. Let's pull this back a little bit more and trim. Now we're in the descent. Ooh, let's trim this out properly here. There we go. A little bit of up trim. Once you get it trimmed out, it will, it will hold its vertical speed nicely. Right about there. Um, want a vacation in uh, Alabama? Yes. Uh, think, okay, yeah, Mike's in uh, in Canada, exactly. Uh, and your condo won't allow uh, <coughs> Cherokee parking. Oh, you got to talk to your condo association, sir. Let's continue to enrich in the mixture as we descend, and we're through. 7,100 feet all the way down to 16. It's getting a little bumpy in the descent. That's pretty realistic as you get closer to the ground. Well, I don't know what the temperature is here. Uh, but in the middle of the day in the summertime in the U.S., as you start to descend, well, 7,000 feet, it would still be pretty smooth. But, man, once you get under, like, 3,000 feet, <laughs> hold on to something. I think I'm also going to go... Uh, what do we say? We're going to fly a left pattern. I'm assuming left traffic uh, holds true here, too. So let's go heading mode and continue the descent. Uh, yeah, literally blood, sweat, and tears. But joy, too, right? I mean, come on. I mean, your Cherokee is looking awesome. Um, and Anon says, whatever uh, you were up to, stop it. <laughs> oh, Anon, yeah, you missed it. it it's it's bad. Micah is uh, uh, plotting. <laughs> um, uh, Anon needed a fresh uh, Aranciata Rosa. Aranciata Rosa. Uh, what is that? I am not educated, sophisticated enough to know what the heck that is. Um... Uh, Oh, Mike, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you hit that same thing. Like, in your descent, like, when, this time once you got below 4,000, it was immediately like an oven and bumpy. Yeah, on the way back from Suffolk, it, it was at 3,000 feet for me. Brutal. Just brutal. I mean, I, I actually I kind of enjoy turbulence. Um, so I kind of giggle at that. It's like a, a roller coaster ride, but not one at Lunar Park where you have to enter through a clown's mouth, uh, Mika. Um with the heat, oh my gosh, I was so comfortable. I was so comfy up there at uh, 6,500, and then all of a sudden, I was just so hot, <laughs> so brutal. All right, let's keep the manifold pressure coming back out. Going a little fast. Um, Mike, now nah, this route is not in Discord, um, but this one. I, I, in the stream description, I put 
uh, some possible um, uh, airports that we would be flying into and out of. But uh, now nah, we're not on bad sim. So. Uh, yes, Mike. Yes, fly Europe. Yeah, it's epic. So many places to see in the sim, right? I mean, just so many. Because we're ten miles away. We're looking a little bit. We're looking a little bit high. We're coming out of 5,600 for 16 here. Um, the original sparkling. Oh, uh, oh, we have uh, Pellegrino. Yeah, yeah, uh, San Pellegrino. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay. I didn't know it was called uh, Aranciata Rosa. Yeah, we have Pellegrino here. I love that stuff. That is very refreshing when it's cold. Um. 1932. I didn't know that it was that uh, that old. Ooh, there's a thousand feet per minute. Let's check that. All right. I think I see the airport. We're eight miles away, and we're still high, five thousand feet. Uh, who planned this top of descent? Terrible. Garmin, I want my money back. We got to keep that manifold pressure coming out. We're really fast. Enrich in the mixture, landing lights are already on. So gumps check, gas is on the, eh, we're pretty even there. Undercarriage, not yet, mixture is, eh, we'll go ahead and just make that full rich. Props, not yet, seat belts are on, switches, we've got fuel pump to go, landing lights are on. First gump check is, gumps check is complete and we're really fast. About to get up into the yellow arc there. I think that's the airport what we can do. Let's just go autopilot off and hand fly this thing. Oof! As soon as I throw in the autopilot, it's like an airplane. Airplane just starts shaking all over the place. Uh, it's got a lot of ice. Oop! See, I, uh, now it's hard to look at chat. Sorry, chat. This may be a uh, sterile cockpit situation here. Now, we're not going to fly straight in, so let's go ahead and cut it out this way a little bit. Um, yeah, it's not non-alcoholic, uh, Micah. Uh, San Pellegrino is anyway. Uh, unless Anon spiked it. <laughs> All right. Oh, beautiful. Look at this. I can't really do external views either because I'm hand flying it at this point. Sixty knots. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Yeah, it's alcohol. Yeah, San Pellegrino is definitely alcohol free, unless, like I said, unless you spike it. <laughs> uh, so we'll make left traffic for one six. We're not on, not on bad Sam, so no need to make any radio calls. Bumpy as we get closer to the ground. There's 35 for 16. Good. Okay, let's see. This sim is looking really good. Looks like flying a, a bigger arrow with 50 more horsepower. Nothing to it. Easy day. It's like falling off a bar stool. Winds are zero five zero at uh, uh, five. I think they said. There's the airport. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think that's the airport, unless I'm completely mistaken, which I've been known to be. Just want to get down to pattern altitude here, folks. I think I see the airport over there, although... Uh, that's got to be it, right? <laughs> it's like in real life, trying to find an airport that you've never been to. 
the middle of a bunch of fields, or worse, like a forest. Jeez. Yeah, that's it. All right, 2700 for 16. Uh, what are you guys talking about? Uh, just like VR special drinks, exactly. My special drinks are nothing to do with you. Uh, Charlie, what's going on? Uh, yes, I'm 100% in the Oculus Quest right now, trying to find the freaking airport. And as we get lower to pattern altitude, it gets harder and harder to spot. There's 2500 for 16. Let's go ahead and make this turn. And we'll enter the 45 left downwind, once, uh, one six, full stop. Where are we going again? What's the, what's the name of this airport? Fuel pump is uh, over here, uh, PEX. So we don't need to make radio calls because we are not on that sim. And I'll be damned if I thought I saw the airport, now I don't. 23 for 16, speed's 160 knots. Uh, but yeah, Charlie, uh, that's in, uh, I'm sorry, um, Oculus Quest 2. All right, we're getting down to 2,000 feet. I think I might want to arrest our descent here, I think. Is that it right there? No. Oh, my God. Real pilot, folks. Real pilot. The struggle is real, though, trying to find airports that you've never been to in real life. Uh, it, it's not, ah, oh, there it is. Ha, <laughs> runway in sight. Ah, uh, it's tiny. Oh, that's it? That's a bespoke airport? Oh my God. All right. We got it. All right, gas, good. Undercarriage, not yet. Mixture, we'll go full rich. Keep it coming down. We're very fast. Pull the power. Switches, fuel pump, come on. Landing lights all already on. There's the runway. <laughs> They can pitch up a little bit too to bleed off some airspeed and get into gear extension range, which is 150 miles an hour, just flying a little bit. Right, so let's widen out this. There we go, gear down. This is one I would hate to see on Four Flights track log. <laughs> <laughs> Props full forward. First flaps, slow it down, trim. Keep that coming down at 500 feet per minute. Pitching for airspeed, power for altitude. Gears down. So red, blue, green, mixture, props, gear, all looking good. We're still fast, pitch up. Well, this is going to be a bomber pattern. <laughs> Micah, come on, man. Trade some airspeed for altitude here. What a bad pattern this guy just flew. Laps two in the turn, why not? Pex traffic, uh, arrow, 12 two Romeos, turn left base, one six, full stop, Pex. Extra big arrow, 1202 Romeos, turning, final 1 6. We'll stop. X. Beautiful. Two reds, two whites, way fast. Power out. Yep. It's kind of where you want to be on base or on final. Just a little fast, that's all. Trim. Landing music, I like it. There's 100 knots, we're slowing down. Lots of trim. Bespoke airport, folks. There's 90. Look 
it at the end of the runway. Hold it off, power out. I hope I had the landing rate calculator turned on. Does that look pretty darn good and it felt good too? Yoke back, bump the flaps. Not touching the brakes. Oh, a nice upslope too on this runway. Oh, that looked pretty good. All right, let's see. Now we need to make a U-turn, so we can touch the brakes here and back taxi. I don't want to side load my gear on this beautiful Comanche. Oh, let's not stop now. Come on. There we go. Cool. Let's go back to the uh, bespoke Hex uh, airport here uh, and uh, and check it out. Yeah, not bad, huh? Uh, fuel pump is uh, in on it. Is that yellow? See that yellow switch? That one right there? Let me actually turn that off. Uh, it's that yellow switch right there. So let's lean the mixture a little bit here on the ground so we don't foul the plugs. That one felt pretty good. Micah, yes, butter, exactly. Uh, what'd you guys guess here? Um, Mike taking notes? Yeah, yeah, that one I think you could have taken some notes on. Yes, that was pretty good. That one felt pretty good. Oh, we got a taxi all the way down there. Holy cow. Um, it's modeled, 100% anon. Yes, it is 100% modeled. In fact, when you turn it on... Um, without having the engine started, fuel flow, or I'm sorry, fuel pressure actually does increase. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it is accurately modeled, yes. Um, Mike's still getting used to back taxi. Uh, you said backtrack, <laughs> yeah. Nah, people would understand what you're saying, but yeah. Uh, arrow uh, 1202 Romeo is back taxiing. Uh, down uh, three, two, three, four. Uh, let's see where we're we gonna exit here on Alpha. Uh, Charlie, the Comanche, so real. It's, it's incredible. I think it's it's my favorite GA aircraft, and I mean it should be the Piper, uh, the uh, Just Flight Piper Arrow, but it's not. It's the Comanche all day long. And this airport is tiny. Why would they model? I mean, this is like one of the world update models. Let's go check it out. Um, I'm not going to shut the engine down. I'm just going to go ahead and we'll, we'll use the tablet to refuel. Um, we'll reset the trim too. Um, but if I shut the engine down, like MSFS does weird things with these GA aircraft. So we'll just. Uh, We'll just get some gas. I'll um, I'll pull up the next flight and we'll blast off out of here. Yeah, I'll check the landing rate too, of course. Yeah, this looks pretty nice. This bespoke airport. Nice. I don't think they get like airliner traffic in here. We put. Whoops! What did I just do? Landing lights off. Strobes off. Not bad. Yeah, this looks pretty good <clears throat> for a uh, default airport. It's nicely modeled. Huh. Tower looks good. This guy right here is marshalling us in. Yeah, yeah, all right. All right, let's park it here. Um, yeah, Pex Pogani Airport. Very nice, okay. Set the parking brake here. Uh, excellent. Okay. Um, Vander, uh, good evening. What's going on? Um, what are you guys saying here? Sorry. Uh, I, I love it too. It's awesome. Mandatory up. Uh oh, you're getting an update. Oh no. Mike manifold pressure reads Barrow. No other sim does that. Yeah. That's pretty amazing. Like, well, I mean, cause the manifold pressure cage is a barometer basically. Right. Um, Nice day to fly, Vander. I totally agree. All right, let's do one thing. Let's check this airport out. Not bad. Oh, we can go inside too. Check it out. It's pretty cool. Since when are they modeling interiors of these airports? Wow, check that out. 
That's pretty nifty. Huh. Okay, cool. That's a pretty good looking airport for free. Uh, cool. Back inside, let's, uh, Q&H, exactly. Um, fuel pump at the scenery. Oh, I don't know. I don't think that's modeled, you know. I don't think that's modeled. Um, 111, all right, that's a butter. We'll take it. 0.89 Gs. It's a good landing. 111, we'll take the butter. Excellent, all right, reset that. Um, let me do this. Let's pull this up. Let's go to fuel. Let's just fuel our aircraft on the ground here with the engine running, which we would never do, but there we go. Uh, and let me get my iPad out because I forget exactly where we're going next. <laughs> Not sure if we're going to get, let's see how many flights we can get in. Maybe, maybe two more, definitely one more. Let's go uh, saved flights. Uh, flight number two is from um, LHPP to LQPD, and that would be what? Um, oh my gosh. I can't pronounce this, guys, and I can't really see it on my iPad either. Predier something? It's uh, Bosnia Herzegovina. Uh, LQ. PD is the next bespoke airport we shall visit. So LQPD, LHPP to LQPD. <laughs> All right, menu, uh, flight plan, uh, delete, active flight plan, yes, add waypoint, uh, find nearest LHPP to, what did I say? LQPD. LQPD. Uh, URJ. Cool. All right. There you go. <laughs> it's only 87 miles away. Um, and it looks like our direction of flight is going to keep us at an even altitude. So we'll go. Now we'll go at 6,000 feet again. Cool. All right, and we're gonna use runway one six again. So let's sync the heading bug this way. All right. Um, yeah, I don't know if there's one here or not. To be honest, staying on like a few, an actual fuel pump, prop probably, or maybe not. I mean, this might be an airport where they just have trucks. I mean, it looks like a a large-ish GA air, airport. So I don't know. Uh, Voxel, you're joining uh, on this leg for some reason. This airport is not custom for you. Oh, that's messed up. Okay. Yes, you got to download it in Content Manager. Yes, I had to do that too. Um, kind of a pain. Uh, let's see, how do I, oh man. Uh, how do I reset the fuel flow? No, not like that. Damn it. All right, no, I can do it can do it in here uh fuel payload update digital engine monitor uh, there we go we'll do it that way because i don't know how to use the what is it jpi 830 all right let's get right out of here then uh no delay uh get back on the road um is there a hercules here i don't know is there supposed to be it looks pretty nice Wow. Look, even the traffic circles, I'm sorry, the roundabouts are modeled. Um, what is this? It says uh, Magnus aircraft. Huh. Very cool. All right. There we go. All right, let's get out of here. Let's fly on to the next one. Bosnia Herzegovina. Um, oh, and your update. Oh, okay. Uh, that all looks fuel related. Uh, yeah, that's well, that is probably an FBO, I guess, over there. I don't know. This poor guy's trying to marshal us in. It's like, hey, we've already been here. All right, let's do a couple things here. Let's. Oh, crap. All right. Stand by. 
I'm gonna do one thing here. My iPad. Uh, let's generate this flight. I'm trying not to get sweat all over the lens of my Oculus because my face is like soaking wet. <laughs> Usually the Oculus with the Kiwi face pad stays pretty cool and not damp, but in this case, yeah, not so much. All right, let's reset this. Refresh plans, there it is. LHPP, LQPD. It's not gonna give us the weather, but we already got the altimeter set. That's fine. Reset this, load data. Um, so Pogani to Erije. And let's also pull charts here, flights, unload. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice is cracking big time, folks, sorry. Import from Simbrief. Alex Rhodes, what's going on? Welcome, welcome to the second leg. Uh, LHPP to LQPD. Eastern, Central Eastern Europe. All right. Let's see if we can get the weather at LQPD before we take off here. Figure out what approach we might use or maybe just visual again, LQPD. <clears throat> All right, there was an error checking that. Let's go LQPD. More than one way to do it. Exclamation point, METAR space LQPD. Um, come on. Oh, it's not gonna pull it up, is it? Unavailable. It's probably too small. Okay. So that's fun. Let's see if we can get it here. Information. Weather. Yeah, it's okay. So it's using from an airport 34 miles away, zero seven. I'm sorry, variable at one. So we can do whatever we want. Oh well, LQP. Oh, wait a minute. What the heck? Why do we not have. Oh, are you kidding me? Hold on a second. There are no charts. Oh, what? All right, there are no charts. I have no information about this airport whatsoever. Okay, that's fun. All right, well, let's go here. Uh, waypoint info. Uh, runways. <clears throat> this is a grass runway. LQPD. This is a grass runway, folks. Uh, nine or two seven. <laughs> I guess we'll use two seven. Uh, any weather? No weather. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, zero nine or two seven. I'm gonna write that down so I don't forget. <laughs> All right, so we have zero nine or two seven. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. Yep, we're on our own. This is how you want to see it done? Okay, well, here we go. And we got... Eh, 3,000 feet of runway on a turf runway. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> this is not the flight that I expected, folks. Fun. All right, parking brake, bleh, parking brake is released. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. See you later. <laughs> Oh, at least we can depart 1-6, just like we came in. We don't need to backtrack that entire runway. Ah, oh, this is going to be fun. Pretty quick flight, too. 87, uh, 87 nautical miles. Actually, before we do anything, let's do this. Let's go here. Let's go here. Here. And we'll do the same thing. We'll do... Um, so it's 555 feet. So we'll do 1,500 feet. Um, AGL. I'm sorry. Darn it. Okay, zero feet AGL gives us what? 555 feet. Okay, so 1,500 uh, AGL. 
no MSL. That's right. Uh, and then enter, and we'll do it um, five miles before enter. Enter. Okay. So now we got some VNAV guidance, and we can go back and we'll go to our map and get out of here. So we'll depart uh, just off to the uh, southwest. We'll just exit the pattern uh, southwest and be done with it. Uh, let's see, Mike, uh, not a ASI conversion for the command sheet. Okay, downloading, what's that? Okay. Uh, stay tuned, will we, will we find the airport? Yeah, I don't know, Th this should be fun, yes. Don't forget to uh, stay tuned and hit the like button for this uh, grand adventure that we're about to embark on. I'm not gonna do the full run up because um, we never shut the engine down, we're fine. Uh, this should be good. Uh, yeah, no, fires, nah, I'm, I'm not on bad sim. Not for this one, man. Sorry. Uh, Divage. Uh, grass strips are the most fun. Vibrations and sound effects. Okay, well, we're about to find out. We are about to find out. Uh, Vander, you have difficulty to click on selected charts uh, on the uh, button on the Navigraph app. Uh, no, it should just work. Alex Rhodes, what? Alex Rhodes. Hold on, let's see if it reads it for you. Hold on. supposed to read that out loud I, i'll read it alex rose man thank you for the ten dollars man that's epic I, man, I, <laughs> I appreciate that um, more than i can express I um, alex says love love watching this stuff we uh, would love to fly with you on bad sim soon you grew up in a family business that ran an fbo oh no way uh you operated uh, converse dc3s a super connie and a p25 <laughs> oh that's awesome alex man i I, number one, thank you so much. That is, um, I'm sorry that that didn't get read out loud. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Um, but uh, yeah, thanks for the 10. That, that's amazing. And uh, look, yeah, I post, um, whenever I'm on VATSIM, I will always post the um, the airport uh, that, we're, uh, that we're departing from uh, and uh, and the route um, so, you, so you guys can all fly along. So Alex, yeah, I'd, I'd love to have you fly along next time, man. Um, and uh, yeah, once again, thank you. That uh, that that at all at any donation, uh, any uh, uh, you know channel memberships go right back into the sim. Uh, so I uh, I really appreciate that, man. Thank you, appreciate it. Oh, it is reading it out. Oh, I just can't hear it. Okay. Oh, good. Well, I'm glad I read it. Okay, good. All right. On that note, on that happy note, let's uh, let's get out of here. So uh, lights, camera, action. We got our landing lights on, our fuel pumps on, transponder is on. Everything else is full forward. Let's go. We already set our trims. Toga's in chat, everyone. Clear props. Right. Engine indications are normal. Set the view a little bit better here. Airspeed is alive. We're going to rotate just prior to 85. Those were light. There it goes, 80. Let's rotate. And pitch for 100. And gear up. Gear is coming up. Here is up. Now we're off to a grass runway. Excellent. This should be fun. Let's go ahead and immediately start that right turn out. Bring the prop back to 2400. Awesome. Sync up our heading bug here. Now we're pitching for about, what is it, in the Comanche, about 100 and, what, 110, something like that. 100. I should know these things. In the arrow, initially, it's about 100 uh, miles an hour. This one's probably a little faster, but we'll go with that. Um, you know what? We're going to go at 4,000 feet. Um, this, this flight is so quick. I, I think 6,000 is kind of is kind of pushing it. So um, there we go. Awesome. Go ahead and get this in heading mode. And we'll just use trim to maintain our vertical climb. Oh, do we have to clear those mountains? Oh, what have we done? Do we need to get over those mountains? We might need to go at 6,000 feet. I'm glad we're visual. <laughs> All right, let's go uh, track mode. Let's see if it'll actually, actually what we can do too is go direct. Activate that. 
pull the manifold pressure back here a little bit. Square it off at 2424. And fuel pump can come off. Actually, landing lights can come off too. We'll leave the strobes on. And we can pitch up a little bit. Keep the climb coming up. Um, uh, my coffee, 10 liveries, 10 persistences is, man, that's, that's nuts. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got your hands full, sir. Um, this is why I don't fly in uh, clouds, people. Exactly. <laughs> Fox of the mountains. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, we'll, we'll see what 4,000 feet gets us. We may need to go at six. It's all right. Figure it out. Oh, yeah. No, we're going to have to climb, I think. Yeah, we'll keep it coming up to 6,000 feet. I can't imagine those mountains are taller than 6,000 feet. Beautiful. Pretty much squared up here, 24, 24. Lean a little bit in the climb. Keep that climb rate coming up. There we go. Um, landing lights off for VFR. Yeah, no, I, I, I turn them off. I turn them off when I turn the fuel pump off, just like in real life. I mean, in reality, I mean, I've got, <clears throat> I'm gonna assume that somebody replaced the, the um, incandescent um, landing light with LEDs. So, I mean, you, you could leave them on pretty much indefinitely. Um, same in the arrow, I've got LEDs, I, but I, I turn them off anyway. Unless it's, you know, getting dark and then I leave them on just for um, sea and avoidance type stuff. Uh, Oh, they're 8,200 feet at the peak. Well, this should be fun. This reminds me of Courcheval. <laughs> so grass runway, tall mountains. So we're going to have to fly over these mountains and then immediately get down. Now nah, we should be okay. We'll be all right. We'll be okay. Let's keep the manifold pressure coming in. We're not in a turbo, for God's sakes. Come on. Obviously, as you climb, manifold pressure drops off. That whole manifold pressure being like a barometer thing. Outside view. So bye-bye Hungary. Hello Bosnia Herzegovina. Herzeg Herzegovina? Herzegovina, right? How do you say that? I say Herzegovina. But I'm probably saying it wrong. I don't know. Epic. Uh, Caleb, what is going on, man? You got a new puppy. Oh, that will keep you busy. So you pretty much got a new child. <laughs> That's awesome. What kind of dog? We have a dog, too. She's not a puppy. In fact, we're not sure how old she is. Mm. I love it. Just trimmed. I mean, I, I'm so confident in this aircraft's ability to hold uh, pitch that I will even go in the back seat in our climb here with no autopilot controlling our vertical speed. Look at that. Beautiful. Uh, a boxer husky mix. Okay, so a box key, say. Uh, five weeks old. Oh, that is a puppy. Ah, good luck. <laughs> oh, so cute, though. I love dogs. That's awesome. All right, there goes 6,000. Did we say we were climbing at six? Should probably go back up here. All right, let's level off. Whoops. That's what I get for taking outside views. All right, so we're gonna try this at 6,000. Maybe we can pick our way through the mountains here. Um, no, you know what? Maybe we should go to eight. I don't, I don't know. Arr. I kind of want to stay low because the scenery is so nice, but I also don't want to smash into a mountain. Mm, let's try six. We'll just kind of, it's VFR. We'll, we'll skirt the mountains. How's that? Why not? Uh, boxer husky, small husky. Yeah. Oh, all right. Let's pay attention here. get back down to 6,000. Although we're VFR, I guess we could go at 6,500. I, I don't know. What are the rules in Europe? Is it even thousands plus 500 for VFR westbound? These mountains make me nervous. 
it back down to six. Let's do this the right way. What I think is the right way. I don't know. We're in a Comanche. We can climb pretty quickly if we have to. There we go. Come on. Get down. Trim. Using our hand crank there. Picking up a lot of speed, too. Getting up to the yellow arc. I love it. Let's go. We're in a Comanche. 250 horsepower. Get it to hold. Not yet. Wait for it. Wait for it. Right about. No idea what the altimeter setting is at this airport. Right about there. Right. And trim. Before it yells at us too much, let's see if we can trim this thing out. Altitude hold is engaged. We're in track mode. It's not even yelling at us. Nice, almost like we know what we're doing. Um, Caleb, maybe the next flight he can ride with us. Yeah, he can ride right seat, absolutely. Get him some little ear protection, but yeah. I've never flown with my dog. I just, I've always been a little bit afraid of the noise. Because um, I know like when I take the headset off for just a second, like to adjust my sunglasses or my hat, it's really loud. Uh, so yeah. All right, so let's pull this back to what we have it at, like 2,200, 2,224. Well, we should actually check that. So we're at 6,000 feet. It's this line here. So 22.8, 2,400. So that looks like we can increase this a little bit. Now let's go to our engine monitor here and Go ahead and lean this out to about what? 16 gallons an hour, is that right? We're gonna burn some gas today, folks. Something tells me we're gonna have to climb. All right, let's go, we're getting close. Yep, that's it. So let's enrich in that. We'll go at about 70% brake horsepower. I like it right there. Cool. All right. So what, about 13, 14 gallons an hour? That's a little much, but I'm not paying for the gas, so I don't care. Um... Or yeah, either a small husky or a big box, or exactly. Got friends you can add. Uh, oh, the, the got friends. I had that got friends uh, canoe, <laughs> the old the old canoe um, that they made um, that you could actually put like on the water, and uh, and you could add like a, a cat or a dog. Um, that thing was kind of cool. Never streamed it. I, I think that would get a lot of dislikes if we tried to stream the old canoe. <laughs> more dislikes than that yacht stream that we did. And here's where that autopilot really shows how crappy it is. Look at this thing, man. This is hunting back and forth across its course. That is not very good, but that is very accurate. Um, you wouldn't fly with a pet in real life, Mike, but Caleb is right. People absolutely do it all the time. People fly with their dogs, just GA. Um, and, and there's like, there, there are two schools of thought. Um, that the frequency doesn't um, doesn't affect them at all. I mean, I have friends that fly with their dogs, and actually, oh, <laughs> I've actually flown dogs. I take it back. We, we've done. My daughter and I have done um, uh, pilots and paws before, where um, you basically uh, fly to pick up uh, rescue dogs and uh, and fly them to a place you know further. Um, you know, to where they need to be, and then somebody picks them up and takes them to like a rescue shelter. So basically, it's like um, kill shelters um, that people rescue dogs from. But maybe they're you know 200 miles away from from their new uh, families. Um, and Pilots and Paws has this whole network and a website where you can you can look up like rescue flights in your area, uh, 
and uh, and you kind of sign up. You can do multi legs. Like some of the legs are like 500 miles long, but you do like half of a leg, and then another pilot picks up the dogs. I'll have to post pictures of that. Um, we haven't done one in about a year, but I have a crate that um, it's pretty much the perfect size for the back of the arrow. Um, the last one we did, there were two like it was some kind of hound dog mixes, um, and they were awesome the whole flight. And then we got to um, we were flying them to Frederick, um, Foxtrot Delta Kilo, Maryland, and it was it, well, I was on a it was IFR. Um, now it wasn't like hard IFR. It was you know kind of like a scattered. Um, but anyway, we were on an IFR flight plan, and I got the ILS to I forget which runway it was. And at the very last second, um, tower the winds changed, and they were like, "Hey, can, uh, can you take a circle to land?" And I was already like on the on the ILS. I mean, I was on glide, on localizer, stabilized. It was great, super smooth. The dogs were just fine. And then we got the circle to land and all the maneuvering that I was doing, I guess, um, both of the dogs almost at the same time puked. <laughs> Apparently they had just eaten because it was just like dog food. They just puked up like raw dog food <laughs> in the crate. And all of a sudden, like my daughter and I smelled like this pukey dog food smell. And we're like, oh, you mongrels. But we had blankets and stuff down on the seats. It didn't get anywhere. Um, but they were just kind of both a mess when we took them out of the plane. Poor dogs. But yeah, pilots and paws. Man, I haven't done a pilots and paws in ages. It's like a good... I mean, it's obviously a good cause. And it's also a good excuse to go fly somewhere. Um, Mike, I uh, always found it cool helping the autopilot. Yeah, I should probably have this in heading mode. Just... But I will leave it. How beautiful is this, though? Let's go in the back. Um, man, that is epic looking. Yeah, this autopilot's having a hell of a time. I don't know if it's windy or what, but we're like hunting all across the course. Uh, Voxel, you always get a, a piston misfiring on the bow when you lean it. Um, yeah, yeah, if you lean too much, um, obviously you'll starve it of fuel. But that's a strategy for leaning: is you lean until the engine stumbles and then you enrich it uh, to run uh, rich a peak. But yeah, if you, I, I don't know if you saw that voxel, but when I was leaning, uh, the engine did stumble a little bit um, as I hit the uh, the leanest uh, cylinder. Um, uh, Mike Coffee, no wolf, wolf, wolf. Sorry, Tower, the dog is barking, or a dog or cat is uh, scared. <laughs> that is always kind of the fear with the pilots and paws, is you get dogs that kind of freak out. But um, honestly, I've never had it. They just go to sleep. They just go to sleep. Can't have the dog hanging out the window. No. Poor doggos. Stop making the dogs fly. Uh, they don't want to be in a plane, ain't on. I, I, that's why I won't fly with my dog. But, I mean, these are rescue dogs. And if somebody doesn't fly them from point A to point B, they can go back to the kill shelter. And, uh, I mean, that's... I don't even want to talk about that. It pisses me off so much. They don't want to be in a plane. They're not qualified. I don't know. Some dogs are probably more qualified than I am to fly a plane. You guys have seen some of my landings. All right, 47 miles. And I think we're going to be fine uh, with 6,000. Um, yeah, 8,200 is probably the peak, which I don't know where that would be. But, yeah, we're good. Um, my concern is just finding the airport. <laughs> finding, I mean, I have no idea what the winds are doing. Um, we have no, I mean, we can kind of go off of what this is saying. I'm sorry, that wasn't the one. It was it was Navigraph that was telling us an airport about 30 miles away. Nearby weather, 34 miles away. Uh, Lima, Quebec, Bravo, Kilo, 07. I'm sorry, variable at one. Okay, and uh, 1021. I don't know. We're just we're gonna go for it. We're gonna it's full send, and we'll go. Uh, what do we say the runways were? It's two seven. So we'll use it was two seven nine, and and we're kind of maybe we'll, we'll just fly like a straight into two seven. So I'm gonna dial that up. We won't even fly the pattern here. I'm sure there are no approaches. Uh, let's see procedures approaches. Shocker, there are no approaches. All right, we'll just line up a visual two seven, load it, fine. Oh, this is going to be a disaster. 
So it's pretty much straight in. I mean, we're flying... You know, what are we flying here? A 220 heading, so... Another sip. Voice is getting cracky. Um, Mike, push the autopilot button on the yoke. It will actually hold the um, altitude. Yeah, no, we got out hold uh, enabled. So I've got um, the right hand uh, kind of little button on my honeycomb um, bound to the uh, out hold. So we are in out hold mode at 6,000 feet. And we got 40 miles to run. And what did we say airport elevation was here? I should have written that down too. And this is like flying that, like flying those Papua New Guinea flights in the uh, in the Kodiak. Uh, Re Rej? I don't know. Who knows? Waypoint info. Uh, airport info. Right, 555 feet. So we'll fly. Maybe we will fly the pattern. Maybe we'll... Yeah, we'll kind of loop around and do a left downwind uh, for 2.7. Just so we can get set up. That way we don't have to do a straight in. So 1,500 feet. That's our message. Airspeed, airspace alert. That's fine. And back to the map. Alright, so... All we need here is our canvas. Uh, so pattern altitude is 1500 feet. I have no idea what the altimeter setting is. Uh, we'll find out. Um, yeah. Cool. All caught up. Getting kind of close to the top descent here. 37 miles to go to the destination. Oh, I didn't know Bosnia Herzegovina was so beautiful either. Jeez. these hills. I sound like a broken record, but it kind of reminds me of parts of Pennsylvania, or maybe the Blue Ridge. Gorgeous. Man. So yeah, folks, the next flight is going to be on Batsim. Um, I'm going to, I'll try to put it up there tomorrow. It's not going to be tomorrow night, but it'll be Friday. It'll be that uh, VAT USA um, FNO, the Friday Night Ops. Um, I will put together, maybe we'll do two legs, um, but I'll put, you know, the full route, uh, full, you know, departure and arrival airport information with the full route info. Um, if you guys want to fly along, um, and, uh, and we can have a good time because yeah, it does seem kind of lonely. I don't know. I mean, having you guys in chat is awesome, but it seems kind of lonely flying off bad sim. All right. We should switch tanks before we get too much closer. So let's go fuel pump on, fuel pressure, fuel flow. Right tank on, left tank off, fuel pressure looks good. Fuel flow is a thirsty 13 and a half gallons per hour, ouch. Someone's gonna pay for this, fuel pump off. Uh, so what we get on the last one, uh, we got 111 feet per minute at a 0.89 G landing, that's pretty good, all right. Uh, Mike, the Bulldog in England is certified to fly the Bulldog Trainer. <laughs> Good one, Mike. Mike, you win a free copy of the Fly-By-Wire. A320-Neo for that fun joke. Not had a lot of giveaways on this flight. Uh, Batsim. Sniff. What? Oh, that we're not on Batsim? I know. I, I feel like I have failed. I have failed you all today. I apologize for that. Uh, hopefully we don't have to cross that other ridge or is the airport in those mountains no according to this uh, map it looks like we're gonna be okay in terms of terrain clearance so uh, oh no that we'll use that sim oh no fly along mike come on you had a couple of days to practice well actually no i take that back and it, it kind of goes along with that conversation we had in discord um yeah, make sure that you know what you're doing if you're going to join an FNO. <laughs> it's not fun for anybody, <laughs> including you, if you... If you uh, yeah, if, if the procedures are, are not familiar, and yeah. 
You can always watch the stream. I mean, come on. Yes, you win an A320 Neo. Fly by wire, Mike. Hit me up in Discord for details on how to claim your prize. Unless they started charging for the fly by wire 320 Neo. In that case, uh, your prize is void. We can't afford to give away stuff on this channel. Come on. We can barely afford to keep the lights on, for goodness sakes. <laughs> Especially my electric bill is going to be like this month. Holy cow. AC is running nonstop, like, like all throughout the night, almost. It's so hot here right now. And this PC is not helping matters because it gets hot. Oops. All right, 26 miles to go. Beautiful countryside, holy cow. I mean, just gorgeous. Hey, what's going on up there? Are we almost there? I gotta pee. Gorgeous. All right, focus. Yeah, Mike, it's, a, it's 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 kind of a running joke. <laughs> we give away copies of the Fly-By-Wire 320 Neo, Bat Sim Radio, the Zebo Mod 737. Uh, what else do we give away free copies of? Uh, oh, the Headwind uh, 330 900. <laughs> They're all free. But all joking aside, you guys should go. If you have not checked out VatSim Radio yet and you're flying in VR on VatSim or not on VatSim, you need VatSim Radio. It is essential for your VR flying or non VR. Flying. All right, there's no chance we're going to spot the airport from up here. In fact, we're not going to see it until we're like right on top of it. I have a feeling. Beautiful countryside, though. Holy cow. Voxel, um, yes. How are we going to locate this airport? Uh, yeah, we're going to rely heavily on the GTN 750 and not on my navigation skills. No, I think we'll be okay. Um, I think we'll be okay. I mean, we've got an extended center line uh, painted. Um, we're going for runway 27. I mean, there, there's the, there's the center line right there. Um, so we'll enter. You know what we'll do is we'll uh, tier, we'll, we'll do what I did at uh, Suffolk. We'll uh, overfly midfield at 2,000 feet, teardrop uh, for a uh, left downwind to uh, 27. We'll fly a, a teardrop entry to the pattern. Exactly as I flew into Suffolk. I wasn't that busy at Suffolk either. It was kind of, kind of nice. I think it was too hot. I think the heat scared a lot of people away on Sunday. Was that Sunday or Monday that I flew? No, it's Sunday. Uh, Voxel, you're with the uh, PMS 750, and um, yeah, the PMS is pretty good, um, and it uses the. You know, Navigraph, um, uh, ARAC data. Um, this one, though, I mean, it, it's it, it's pretty much the exact same as a real GTN 750 uh, because it uses the <clears throat> the Garmin Trainer uh, software. Yeah, so here we could like I I don't know I'd be making a decision here. Will we fly the straight in? But yeah, if there's people in the pattern, I don't know, the straight ins are just. I don't it's unless you fly a Cirrus, that's not the thing to do. All right, cool. Let's disengage that. Let's pull that. Let's enrich in the mixture first. Let's pull manifold pressure. What 1700 or 17 inches gives us a nice descent rate, 500 feet per minute ish. And let's go down 15 miles to go. Why do I feel like we're high? Oh, spotting the airport's going to be fun. I have no idea what this airport's like, folks. Um, how do you DM in Discord? Uh, just find my username. I think you can right click on it and then send a private message. 
You don't get the distance. Oh, no. Really? Oh, man. Oh, wow. That is an aggressive descent rate. All right. Let's pay attention here. Um, oh, is that the airport? No, can't be. Oh, we're... we're all right. I got I to pay attention here, folks. Sorry. I think we pulled too much manifold pressure. Um... You don't get the glide range. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty handy to have in case of an emergency. I need to pay attention here, folks. Um, all right. We're going autopilot off. Let's pull this back to 15 inches. Um, enrich the mixture a little bit. Let's go landing lights on. So, gumps check, gas, uh, yeah, we're on the right tank, even though it's a little bit imbalanced, it's fine. Uh, undercarriage, not yet, mixture is enriching, uh, props, not yet, seatbelts are on, switches, landing lights are on, and fuel pump to go. All right. We're really high. I don't know, but that TOD just left us super high, unless the airport's on the other side or in the, it can't be in the mountains, 500 feet. AGL, right? So I want to get down to 2,000 feet. So you overfly the field at 500, pattern altitude plus 500 feet, right? Um, so it's going to be 2,000 feet. Then we'll do the teardrop left downwind 27 into <sighs> wherever we're going. <laughs> oh, God. What have we done? 4,000 for two. I'm just I'm hoping it's not on the other side. It's in these mountains, isn't it? This is like this is like those flights in the Kodiak uh, into um, those Papua New Guinea airports, isn't it? It's over those mountains. Oh, we screwed up. All right. All right. We're going to let's power up. Level off. Yeah, we got to clear these mountains first. It's on the other side of these stupid mountains. Okay, well, we'll just hand flat. Let's go straight and level. There we go. And then we'll have to get down. Um, and we'll just enter a direct downwind or a left downwind at this point. Yeah, we're at 4,000 feet, so we're gonna get kicked around by whatever convective updrafts they're experiencing here. So that'll be fun. Good times. Good times. Um, uh, hold on tight. Exactly. Yeah, hold on to everything because... Yeah, so it's right on the other side of that ridge. Damn it. Why didn't I look at the map? No, we'll still do a teardrop, actually. We just need to drop down pretty quick as soon as we clear these ridges. In fact, we can descend a little bit. Yeah, it's probably in that valley. That's, that's where it is. Oof. <laughs> the turbulence. My stomach. We're going in exactly, Voxel. Uh, it is, yeah, behind the ridge. Exactly. Stupid mountains. Exactly. Who put these things here? Jeez. Ruining our fun. Yeah, we can descend, though. Oh, my gosh. Bumpy. Mechanical mixing. Air coming off the mountains. Fun. It's just like flying over the Blue Ridge. I love it. Just like home. Um... Uh, FN, uh, I tried. Uh, there, yeah, there's nothing. I don't even know what the weather is. The winds at the airport 30 miles away said light and variable, so we'll we'll go with that. <laughs> uh, AFN40, what's going on? Welcome to the chat. Oh, this should be good. Just slow down. Let's pull some more manifold pressure. That's a little much. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll we'll do the teardrop. Left down when two seven. Three thousand feet, so we got a thousand to go. This might work out. It's a grass runway too, so I'm sure that'll be easy to spot. He said sarcastically. Uh, my coffee, uh, you DM'd me uh, for the 320. Oh, you're welcome. I will send you uh, information on how to pick up your free copy of the Fly-By-Wire uh, A320neo. And uh, congratulations on your prize. Yeah, this is like, uh, I'm gonna do those uh, Papua New Guinea uh, flights again. Maybe take the caravan this time instead of the Kodiak. Although we haven't taken the Kodiak in a while, I don't know. So many aircraft, so little time. All right, there goes the ridge. Anybody see an airport? We're coming up on 2,000 feet. I think I see it. <laughs> ah. Yeah, I think that's it right there. Okay, all right. So we're gonna overfly, I think that's it, at 2,000, and then drop down to 1,500 as we teardrop into the pattern. Is that it right there? It's gotta be. Anybody remember the name of the airport that we're flying into? That looks like an airport, looks like a grass strip, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe that's it. Okay, that's it right there. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, whatever traffic, arrow uh, 1202 is gonna overfly midfield, 2,000 feet, then uh, gonna be a teardrop to the left downwind, 27, full stop, wherever. Yep, that's the airport. We found it. See it? I'm gonna stick my head out of the window. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and bug 270, and now we need to drop it down. It's full. I got manifold pressure. Makes your full ridge. Mm. We're still pretty fast. Get down to 1500 feet. So we're flying kind of perpendicular right now. Down to pattern altitude. I'm gonna level off into the teardrop. I don't wanna to get too slow. <sighs> Sorry chat. It'll be hard to hard to interact right now. I mean these aren't the easiest in real life to be honest. Send a little bit, keep the turn coming in. Now we're flying directly away. And we're still high. I don't know what town this is. It looks lovely. 130 knots. There's the airport. Okay, I think we did okay. We're still high. Is that coming down? So 1500 feet is pattern altitude. All right. Whatever town traffic, uh, Arrow 1202, Comanche 1202 Romeo is left downwind, two, seven, stop, whatever. You're down. Actually, we rolled out pretty good on that. All right, props forward. You're down, props. Mixture full ridge, fuel pump on. Let's get into flap. There we go. Flaps one. There's the airport. 500 ish feet per minute. We need to slow down. There's a nice little lake out there. Uh, ain't on, yes, exactly. <laughs> Long trips, two cans. Oh, yeah. All right, let's turn. Base. 
Whatever traffic here, 0202, Romeo is turning left base 27, full stop, wherever. Let's not get too slow here, huh? Second notch of flaps, notch of flops. I stole that, that's flight deck, this seems. Where's the airport? Hmm. 550 feet, I think, is the airport elevation. Kind of a wide pattern, right? But I'm okay with it. Airport we've never been to. I'm not gonna mess around. All right, gas, yeah, so undercarriage, mixture, props, switches, all good. This time to turn final. Rubber traffic, arrow, 12 or two, Romeo's turning final, two seven, full stop, wherever. And we're really fast. Oh boy, this is gonna be messy. Eh, maybe not. It's wide enough. It's 100 knots. Absolutely no visual markings. It's completely visual. <laughs> Fun. I don't know what the winds are doing. Wide. I like it. Trim. Oh, little, little bumps there on final. Oh, a little slow. Pull the power. Get at the end of the runway. Holding it off. Holding it off. Oh, big bounce. Oh, we're down. <laughs> Ay, ay, ay. Welcome to this airport. Let's just slam the brakes on here so we can make this turn. Well, it really does bounce around too, right? Oh my gosh. That was brutal. Oh, <laughs> uh, what is this? This looks pretty cool. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Laps up. Oh, fuel pump off. Landing lights off. Beacon off. Yikes. Look at this airport. Bespoke airport. Reset the trim. Oh, the trim is neutral. Oh, that was... Ouch. Brace, brace. Exactly. Once your load's even worse to find it. I know. Oh, man. Let's see. Um, what are you guys saying? Here comes the butter CST. I, I don't know how much gas we got. We got plenty. Look at this. This is pretty cool. Aerodrome Urije. Well, the windsock is dead, so that's good. Um, I guess our gear is still intact. I don't know. Oh, man. Um, we made it. Yes. Yoke back. Yep. Yoke in the chest. <laughs> oh, look at this. Aerodrome Urije. Oh, this is pretty sweet, actually. An old, like, Toyota Hilux. <laughs> Uh, let's spin it around. Oh, there's a glider in there. I guess they do some glider ops here. Some kind of old, what is that? It's like a still. All right, heads up, buddy, heads up. We're turning it around here. Oh, sorry. Condolences to your family. All right, let's park it here for a second uh, and set the parking brake. Yeah, 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 I don't want to check the landing rate. Lean the mixture a little bit. this back a little bit here under a thousand rpm please uh wow um yeah it's pretty fun uh clear prop exactly all right let's see how we did i don't have a good feeling about this uh, 129 you know what i'll take it <laughs> i'll take it it wasn't a butter but hey okay, to a grass field uh not not too not too terrible i guess <laughs> uh okay 129 so we didn't beat the 111 uh, what time is it? Uh, it's only 940. One more? Let's do one more. If you guys want to. I don't know. Oh, just knocked over a can. Uh, let's do one more real quick. Um, let's go to saved flights. Uh, and then let's pull up uh, LQPD to LDRI. Oops. Oh, no, 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 no. What I do? 
Hang on. Save blades. Uh, let's pull this up. Okay, now my iPad isn't cooperating. Hold on, folks. Okay, so we're going from uh, LQPD to LDRI. Let's generate this thing just so we can pull it up on our tablet. And, uh, and let's try this last one, last flight. Uh, LDRI is a good choice, stunning there. Okay, cool, all right, so let's reset. Um, let's reset this, uh, close that. We don't know what the weather is here anyway. Refresh plans, LDRI. Uh, cool, okay. So yeah, I think this is a bigger airport. We should be able to get the weather. Yes, oh, oh good, it's clear in a million, awesome. Uh, we already reset that. Let's get our charts. Oops, lights. Uh, lights, unload, import from Simbrief. Okay, let's pull that one up. Come on. I don't have time for this. Um, all right, looks like 1-4 is the runway to use there. Let's check the weather there. Uh, variable at three, so dealer's choice, whatever. Do whatever we want. Um, yeah, this is a bigger airport. Okay, good. Hurry up, Navigraph. Exactly. All right. Cool. Um, let's get gas. Fill up our tanks here. Not that we need it, but we'll fill this up. Update engine monitor. Close that. Menu. Uh, delete. Yes. Add waypoint. Uh, find nearest. LDRI. Uh, Kirk Island. Okay. Excellent. It's 93 miles. No problem. We'll, we'll, we'll get there in no time at all. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's get out of here. Uh, we'll back taxi, take off the same way we came. Um, no delay. Let's go. Um, I guess the hay bales are all modeled. I don't know. We should probably check out this airport a little bit, right? Since we're here. Oh, man. A little restaurant there, a little cafe. Yeah, that's pretty good. Got some gliders there. I guess they do gliding off those ridges. Yeah, not a lot to it. Oh, the town is lovely. Look at this. Wow. We'll get some provisions, maybe a few uh, uh, Bosnian uh, beers for the uh, uh, when we land at the uh, local tavern and uh, come back to our aircraft here. I don't know what that is. It's a memorial. Oh, that's kind of cool. What is this? Oh, no way. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Memorial to something. Interesting. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Wow. Who knew? Uh, yeah, the hay bales, uh, they do look modeled. Very nice. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, it is default. This is a default bespoke airport as part of the world update, uh, uh, world update 14. Yeah, hundred percent. Cool. Landing lights, strobe lights, uh, fuel pump mixture, transponder, lights, camera action. All looks good. Whew, oh, man. We're doing this with no brakes tonight, folks. No bio brakes. All right, so we'll back taxi down uh, this uh, wonderful grass uh, runway. Although there is a little taxiway here, it looks like. Um, clear prop checklists. Yeah, we're 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 doing the uh, the mental checklist. <laughs> we got it. It's like flying a big arrow. Yeah, check it out. Tractors, hay bales, beautiful. Actually, this is really really pretty. I mean, look at this. Pretty stunning, actually. In VR? Dang. 
Mine sock's pretty dead. That's awesome. Man, this sim is incredible. Uh, yeah, this is free. Default, free, uh, bespoke airport. So they went ahead and put a taxiway in here. Why not just go ahead and pave the runway? That's what I'm saying. Uh, dad joke, the biggest night at King Arthur's round table was circumference. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Cloudbot, you win a free copy of the Flyby Wire um, A320 Neo. Cloudbot, good job. All right, I think this is probably good enough here. Uh, so we already set the trims. Our landing lights are on. Strobes are on. Uh... We'll go ahead and do a kind of modified short field takeoff. I think we'll clear those trees. What do you guys think? We should absolutely be using the entire runway, but we like to live on the edge here. All right, so I'm going to hold the brakes. Actually, I don't know what the short field takeoff procedure is. I mean, in the arrow, it would be flaps. Uh, and then uh, basically hold the brakes full power. the brakes. We're on grass runways. We're going to hold some back pressure. Maintain center line. And rotate and then fly in ground effect. And then when we get to VY, we would rotate and fly at VY. And double flaps. And go to VX. Hey, not bad. Little little short field, soft field takeoff there. Thank you very much. Except the gear needs to come up. <laughs> gear up, flaps up. This guy. All right. Pull the prop back to 24. Pitching for 100 knots. We're already on our uh, course, so that's good. Gears up, flaps up. Pull the power back here to 24, 24 and square it up. Fuel pump can come. On. Excellent. Heck, might as well just go autopilot. Let's go. Yeah, we're already on our heading. Let's go heading mode. Beautiful. Man. Yeah, this thing flies so, so correctly. <laughs> it's just crazy. We're already on our course, too, so let's go track mode. 1,000 feet per minute, about 100 miles an hour in the climb. The lights can come off. Strobes stay on. There we go. How soft is the ground? Ah, I think it's it looked pretty firm. I don't know. We held the nose wheel off, though, so that was good. All right, 90 miles. Uh, Mike, you're installing uh, one Victor. Okay, is that a new, uh, an, an, another yet another Comanche livery that you can? All right, one thing we need to do here, let's go ahead and put in, like we've been doing, our um, hop and descent point. Zero feet AGL. Come on. Controller's not happy right now. Or message. Hello. Airspace alert. Lots of them, too. All right, cool. Looking good. Uh, let's see. So, why don't we try just 4,000 feet this time? Low and slow flying here. Um, oh, world. Okay, Mike, you're installing world update 14. Yeah, they're not small. They're not small updates. Um, phew, let's see. What's the weather? We already checked this. Variable at three. All right. Can we do like some kind of straight in here? We'll use three, two. What approaches do they have? Let's fly an ILS. No, they don't have it. 
They have an ILS-14. We'll fly another visual approach. It's clear in a million. Uh, let's go visual. What did I say? We're flying at 4,000, right? Low and slow, or low and fast in this case, because we want to get there. All right, we'll just hold it right there. Out hold. See if we can see... Uh, yelling at us for some down trim. Let's see what our book says about flying at 4,000 feet. Oops. Oh my gosh, we have options here. So 24, 23. It's kind of where we are now. It's just going to be bumpy the whole way. Passengers are going to be pissed. It's a down trim here. Let's give it to it. Come on. Trim out, you. I don't know if you guys can hear that beeping, but that's the autopilot asking for down trim. There we go. All right. 18.5 gallons per hour is too many gallons per hour. So let's lean this. I'm going to assume it's about 14 gallons an hour. So let's see what that gives us. Stumbled. As yeah, a quick flight, we'll go at 13 and a half gallons per hour. How's that? Again, not my gas. Uh, variable at two. Ceiling visibility okay. Uh, Q and H 1020. Okay, cool. Uh, so if the Q and H is 1020, what would that be in 30.12? There we go. Altimeter is set. Perfect. Still asking for down trim. I don't think it likes us flying this low. Oh, what kind of terrain are we gonna have to clear though? <laughs> I see mountains out there. Well, we'll see. Uh, Marilyn, what's going on? Uh, maybe I know this already. OpenXR Toolkit added hand tracking uh, for the quest. Is that for the? Uh, I, I know they have it for certain headsets. Did, is that for the Quest uh, 2 as well? Uh, I would have did QNH anyway, inches as normal. Oh boy, don't get Anon started. <laughs> Let's go back outside here. Take a look at the scenery. That's really nice. Wow. So let's do this properly. Where, where exactly are we going? What, what is the name of this airport? It is... Oh my gosh. Rajeka Kirk Island. Oh, this could be fun. Okay. Kirk Island. Rajeka, Croatia. Uh, Bumpy's always better up front. Yeah, no, I prefer having my butt kicked around when I'm in in command of the aircraft rather than sitting in the back. Yeah, it's pretty bumpy though. <laughs> I mean, we could climb, but eh. Get a better view of the World Update 14 scenery. The autopilot is not happy though. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to be happy either if we've got to actually climb to go over that terrain. Very nice. Uh, Canada has kilopascals, uh, but nobody uses that. Okay. Everybody uses inches of mercury. <laughs> I'm not sure which one makes more sense. I mean, personally, inches of mercury makes more sense because that's but I fly in the U.S., but I don't know. 
Pascal's probably makes more sense to folks who uh, learn that way. I, I don't know. And the interior of this thing looks so good too, right? thousand feet under radar uh, coverage ground speed of 170 knots 70 miles to go that'd be pretty cool I actually did not anticipate hitting four airports I mean including the departure airport I kind of figured we'd get two legs in and that would be it but hey why not let's do a third we're already here right At least this is a paved runway. 8,200 feet long. I don't think we can miss. Let's see if we can do better than... Uh, what was that last landing rate? Like 130 or something like that. Not bad. Do a grass strip. Especially one that we <laughs> really had to find. I think we can do better. I think we can beat the 111 that we had on that first landing attempt. I love the way the wind, like you can hear the wind noise, like when you hit turbulence, like the, the, the wind against the fuselage and the wings, like you can hear it. I mean, that's so real. Voxel, uh, 3,600 feet at its highest. Uh, the hill next to the airport. Okay, that's good to know. Kristen, have a good night. Oh, good to uh, good to see you in chat. Hope you enjoyed this uh, rather chill, relaxing GA stream in the Comanche over Central Eastern Europe. But uh, yeah, good to see you. Hopefully catch you in Discord uh, tomorrow. Okay, so 3,600 feet, uh, cool. Yeah, we could check the MSA, I guess, on one of the approach charts, but uh, yeah, we're totally visual, so I'm not worried about hitting a mountain visually. Beautiful scenery, my gosh. Smash the like button, guys. That is so nice. Wow. Not nice is this autopilot. I gotta upgrade that thing. Give me a GFC 500, please. Whoa, wrong button. Sorry, folks. There we go. Anon, hold on. Why are you being dragged into uh, this uh, Pascal? <laughs> Pascal is French. <laughs> I don't know, man. He's got his name on your uh, unit of barometric pressure. Look at that little village down there. Man, that is so good. I swear this looks real. I mean, it really does. Wow. <laughs> the turbulence feels real, too. <laughs> uh, Mike is French, but Canada has different French, and uh, you are metric, but Canadian style. <laughs> Well, put your own twist on it. Why not? All right. So uh, winds are variable. Last time we checked, right? So we can choose whichever runway we want. Um, I think there's a good approach like over the sea, right? So why don't we go DRI? Um. Yeah, variable it too. Uh, so why don't we do this? Why don't we go ahead and fly? I think one fork gives us a, a nicer approach. So why don't we fly like a uh, left downwind to one fork? 
uh, and uh, you just adopt sensible international standards like the rest of the world. <laughs> so you're saying inches of mercury is not a sensible standard? Come on. Actually, it makes no sense. Well, I, scientifically, I guess it does make sense, but it, I, I don't know. And that whole metric system thing. Come on. That's way too uh, logical. And we are burning some gas. Look at this. Uh, eh, 14 gallons an hour. That's not terrible. Like I said, somebody else is paying for it, so who cares? Make it 174 knots across the ground. That's pretty nice. The ILS uh, 14 Yankee is cool. Okay, so we'll fly. We're gonna fly visual. But yeah, we'll do we'll do one four. Just use millibars, it's so easy. One hectopascal equals 100 pascals equals one millibar. <laughs> it's too easy. That's what I'm saying. I mean, is, that's too easy. We can't adopt that. Come on. That's two base 10. I mean, like the metric system. I mean, come on. Millimeters, centimeters, meters. Decimeters, kilometers. No, that's that's too, it's too easy. It's 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 just too decimal based, you know. Just, you don't have to put any thought into it, like converting feet to miles. What is it? Five thousand two hundred and four forty something. No, that's what we like. I believe we may have to climb over those mountains, though. And yeah, I like that. Uh, we'll just do a left downwind 1-4. Get some good views along the way. Hand fly to this beauty. Uh, metric, what a joke exactly. You're even worse, you're hybrid. <laughs> yeah, pick one. <laughs> oh my gosh, what a fun stream. Uh, one second. I lost my, oh geez, I hate having to lean way down here. Sorry, folks. You get a good view of the beautiful modeling on the rudder pedals. Uh, there we go. Perfect. Okay. That's better. Uh, you just switch between them both and confuse all foreigners. Yeah, whatever's convenient, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fifty miles to run. That first leg was kind of long. These uh, these second legs are pretty quick. So I guess we're flying over. Uh, oh my gosh, what is this? Cro Croatia now? Are we in Croatian uh, airspace? I don't know. Uh, Mike, okay, took some world stuff. Uh, you took the update, okay? Yeah. Yeah, these airports are really cool. I don't know if they do anything to the scenery itself with the world updates, but I swear this looks really good. Like the towns and villages, like, like little farms. I don't know. It's just really realistic. This is the way to see it in the A to A Comanche. Definitely my favorite GA aircraft. I mean, hands down. If you guys haven't picked this up yet, I've. Yeah, you, you probably should. All right, let's switch tanks. Uh, fuel pump on. Fuel pressure. Fuel flow. On the left tank. Pressure is good. Fuel flow still 14 gallons an hour, but whatever. Good. Fuel pump off. Um, the Antonov 2 and the Wilga have to uh, convert from uh, European to normal. Took out some world updates. Key places you'll probably fly. Oh, you took out some. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, to save space. Like, if you take all the world updates, it, it, it is 
it sucks up all of your SSD. I don't have all the world updates. After I reinstalled the sim, I definitely I, I picked and chose which world updates I wanted to put back. Um, like this one was like 10 gigs. Yeah, key places you'll fly and the ones you don't. Um, Kodiak, uh, the Chancellor, and the uh, the 310, close. The Kodiak, ooh, yeah, we gotta fly that Kodiak again. I really do like that one. Maybe some, like, I don't know, bush flying in Africa somewhere. We have, we have neglected Africa uh, for a while. I think we did some of those Kenyan how was it like I and I had those freeware uh, Ken uh, Kenya Safari airports? I think we did that, and that was it. Maybe South Africa. Maybe we'll do some South African flying, or maybe we'll take the King Air uh, into uh, Congo and uh, recreate some flights my father-in-law used to fly. Although I don't know which routes he flew, and I don't think he would... Well, maybe now he'd be able to say. I don't know. What is the airport elevation? Okay, 278 feet. So, why the pattern at uh, 1,200 feet. This is beautiful. Uh, Anon, uh, Foxtrot Alpha, Charlie Tango, Foxtrot Alpha, Oscar Romeo. Okay, where's that? Get my coffee. King Air Yawn. What? Now, oh, come on. King Air is awesome. Super King Air. 350. I love that airplane. In real life. And the black square one is pretty good in the stem. Oh, Cape Town to Joburg. Okay, yeah. Oh, that'd be fun. That's not that far either. We could do that. That one sounds like a uh, like a TBM kind of flight. Like TBM or that would be kind of long in the Kodiak, right? Like how far is that? scenery it looks good I sound like a broken record but I mean come on <laughs> yeah like if I was a passenger I would be loving this even with the you know mild turbulence light chop Music got funky. Kind of like my headset. Voxel, <laughs> um, you're so happy with the bow, you want to try the King Air? Oh, 100%. Yeah, if you like the Bonanza um, from Black Square, you should definitely try the King Air. The Caravan is good too, like that uh, C208. Um, I mean, it's a lot simpler than the King Air, but it's just. <laughs> It's really good. It's a lot of fun to fly, too. But yeah, uh, the the King Air Voxel is uh, it, it is really good, especially at night. It's like the Bonanza at night. Like they nailed the like the panel flood uh, lighting and uh, just also the uh, I mean the integral lighting. It, it it all looks amazing at night in all those black square aircraft. The question of the day is, uh, are we going to clear those mountains? <laughs> I think the answer might be we need to climb, but we'll see. Um, Mike, the King Air mod is good. Uh, you can't afford Black Square mod and the Comanche. Uh, the Comanche is priority. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, the Black Square stuff isn't cheap, um, but I like it. I don't know. King Air, uh, Caravan, Yawn. Um, yeah, I kind of agree. I mean, but in real life, it's like that too, right? I mean, it's a, it's like an SUV. It's like the suburban of aircraft. 
mean, it's boring as hell, but it's down trip. One. It's boring, but it, I mean, it does what it needs to do. You know, if it fits, it ships. Uh, Voxel, the lighting uh, it is so great at night. I agree. Actually, the, the lighting in this thing is great at night too. We should have should have turned the the time ahead a little bit for nighttime, but uh, I, for this one, I, I kind of wanted to see the scenery, the world update 14 scenery. Uh, but uh, but yeah, the black square stuff at night is is really good. Um, I think we need to climb, folks. Tell you what, why don't we just hand fly it? There. How about that? Okay, so we are hand flying the Comanche at this point. Um, hang on a second here. Uh, ain't on random fact, just found out today that milk in the UK only needs to be 75% milk. Well, what's the rest of it? <laughs> What is this if you see how is milk yeah what's the other 25 percent i i maybe i don't want to know put the power in here get over this ridge so we're hand flying now by the way so uh chat might be a little hard to interact with um mike you say as they say in the uk yes what do you say Yeah, 4,000 feet was not going to cut it there. Let's keep this power coming in. I don't know what mountains these are, but they're pretty scenic. There we go. We hold it at 5,000. Just go... Uh, uh, <laughs> laughed off. Wrong altitude for direction of flight. Waft off. <laughs> Love that acronym. Like that dude's waft off. Like, yeah, he is, but he wants to clear those mountains, so. I don't cow. Uh, let's go back to heading hold and altitude. Let's go track hold. Let's see what that gives us. Power back here a little bit. Um, more boats. What? Oh, hold on. Um, joining the nut milk. Yes. Hey, don't, don't knock almond milk now the VR sim pilot household almond milk is a staple oat milk is good too oat milk is uh, in my opinion oat milk is superior to almond milk uh, oat milk is it's creamier uh, it's smoother it blends really nicely in my uh, morning uh, protein smoothie so like a scoop and a half of protein powder uh, a banana kind of all broken up into pieces. Uh, one big uh, tablespoon of peanut butter, a giant squirt of, uh, oh my gosh, I don't know where Mrs. VR Sim Pilot found it, but it's a, it's like a um, omega-3, uh, it's like a gel, uh, but it's strawberry flavored, and the protein powder is chocolate. So you get chocolate, banana, and then this strawberry omega-3, uh, like, ooze, and then you fill the container with, uh, well, we usually have almond milk, and then a little bit of crushed ice, and then you blend it all up. Oh my God, that's good. It's like a milkshake, but it's so good. Like 30 grams of protein, all the omega-3s you could ever ask for, a lot of calcium in the uh, almond milk or oat milk, uh, if that's the uh, nut milk du jour, and uh, uh, yeah, it's good. And the bananas too. Bananas for uh, smoothness. Look at these mountains. <laughs> Mike, European mountains. <laughs> Very good. Well, well, well done there, Mike. <laughs> good geography. 
All right, uh, vertical track. So we need to descend. So I guess what we can do is, oh, I guess we'll go manual. What I say we want to get down to 1,200 feet? Let's do it. In the descent, the mixture can go rich a little bit. We need to de descend, not, not, not go up. Must go down. Oh, look at this. Oh, what body of water is this? We said we're going to fly left downwind for 1-4 uh, to get a nice scenic approach. We're going 1,000 feet per minute down. That's a little much. All right, let's go landing lights on. Uh, gas is on the fullest tank, right? Yep, left tank. Undercarriage not yet. Make sure we've enriched a little bit. Props, uh, not yet. Seatbelts, seatbelts, yep, switches, landing lights are on, fuel pump to go. Cool. Look at this, oh my gosh. Good call, good call on the Eastern, Central Eastern European uh, Airport Tour. Very good, very good. Oh, my voice, ay, ay, ay. I think I'm getting a cold, folks. <laughs> oh, this sucks. Probably, probably should have had like a vitamin C drink, like an orange juice and what goes good with orange juice? Let's see. Oh, I know. Look at this. Oh man, beautiful. Good Lord. Oh, well, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. This sim is so good. <laughs> Sorry, X-Plane, but... <laughs> uh, did we ever set a... Uh, Alright. Hang on. Let's see if I can do this and not crash. Uh, procedure. Mm -hmm. My mouse isn't cooperating. Approach, approach. Visual 1-4, please. There we go. Load. Load. Oh man, pay attention what you're doing. Alright. Now we know what we're doing. Wow. It's gorgeous. And the Adriatic. Oh, the Adriatic. I'd like to do some sailing here one day in my life, or, or yachting, if you will. Maybe not sailing, like with an actual sail, but. Maybe some yachting in the Adriatic. I think that would be nice. Uh, you don't get a vertical track in the Kodiak. Bummer. Uh, like you said also, almond milk. Ew, oat milk feels like milk. Almond is water. Yes, All, uh, oat milk is more, uh, is creamier, I think. Um, yes, Anon Vodka was the correct answer. What goes nicely with orange juice? Uh, the answer is vodka. That was not a quiz. <laughs> it could have been. Gotta keep it coming down here. Sorry if I missed some chat, guys. Um, sorry, Voxel, you're using the sampler on the PMS 750 to find out peak heights. Oh, cool. Uh, the altimeter's wrong. It's gonna show out inaccurate results. Yes, good point. Sorry, Mr. Chat. There's the runway. Just gonna do a nice left downwind. Look at that. Oh, what seaside town is this? Oh my god. All right, th th again, this is like another place that I have to come to in real life. Even though we're getting bounced around by a lot of turbulence and man, we're almost into the yellow arc there. Whoa, 2,000 feet per minute down. Pay attention, stop looking outside. Uh, limoncello, oh no, 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 I've had, limoncello is so sweet, I don't know. Look at that, damn. Adriatic, okay, yep. Bucket list. Beautiful. It's a, like a bridge over there. Oh man, nice. Uh, Grand Marnier, that's a Mrs. V. Arston pilot uh, favorite. I don't mind it. <laughs> oh, very nice. We should slow it down a little bit. 
So what I say, 1,200 feet is pattern altitude. Look at that little like Adriatic seaside town. Oh man, yeah, these people are living right. A little left downwind for one, uh, two, one, four, sorry. Um, north to uh, Trieste and Venice. Yeah, we did, I think we did those. Trieste, no, say the Trieste, Trie Trieste. Um, west of the Italian coast, yeah, I, we did some of that, I think, before, right? Slowing it down here on the left downwind. There's the airport. Almost like we know what we're doing. Almost. Look at that. Oh my god. Great call. Great call on this one. I mean. Like a fuel uh, farm over there. All those tanks. Maybe a, like an oil refinery or something. Look at that bridge. Oh, should we fly under it? <laughs> no, we're not flying under it. Um... Mike, last leg in the list. Uh, wow, something to look forward to. Yeah, I mean, yeah, th this this was the one. Sorry, everybody else who dropped off, but yeah, th this would have been the one to check out, I think. Oh, look at this. Look at that bridge. I mean, we're not going to fly under it, but maybe one day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into gear uh, extension speed here. Pitch up. And we are in gear, extension speed, gear down, mixture's full rich. We gotta keep it coming down here a little bit too. 1200 feet is pattern altitude. And there it goes, flap, extension speed. So gas is on the fullest tank, undercarriage is down, mixture's full rich, props full forward. Switches, fuel pump. Landing lights are all on. Seat belts are fastened. Oh, look at that. Look at the, even they modeled the rocks. Hold on, we're gonna crash, but I don't care. Look at that. That is really good. All right, let's stop screwing around. All right, let's turn base. I almost want to extend final here. We're a little bit low because I'm looking at the amazing scenery. Look at that bridge. All right, pay attention. Checklist, yep, we did it. Uh, Mike Hoff, you spun stalled. Yeah, you gotta be careful, right? Like we're not, I'm not paying a whole lot of attention right now. The scenery is too beautiful. <laughs> All right, there's the runway. Uh, I think we're a little high and fast. Not really. Now we're good. Oh, this is epic. Oh, we gotta fly here in like a 7 3. Alright. We gotta go last flaps and pull power. We're fast. But we'll get down there. Look at that resort. Oh, yes, please. Little high, no problem. We'll get it. Trim. Pitch for airspeed, power for altitude, so we'll pull some power out. It's 100 knots. There's 90. I like it. It's a long runway. Red, blue, green. Checked. 90. Pulling power. Pitch up. 80, that's too slow. Oh. Oh. Oh, off center line. Oh, terrible, terrible. Oh, awful. Oh, I couldn't kick the rudder out. Oh, pfft. awful. <laughs> Whatever. Oh man, the scenery was too good. It got me. We'll take the first one. Check out this airport and then log off. 
That was a terrible landing. Off center line. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, Rajeka, Kirk Island. I don't even care about that bad landing. We'll check the landing rate. Flaps up. Clean the mixture a little bit. All right, fuel pump off. Landing lights off. Strobe lights off. Look at this little airport. Not bad. Up the hill here. Come on, let's go. Clap, clap, clap. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, yeah, I had a crosswind too. Uh, Yeah, I had a uh, a lot of left crosswind. It said winds were variable at two. I disagree, but whatever. Yeah, look at that wind suck. That's a little more crosswind than variable at three. But we dealt with it okay. We got it down. Look at this. We got some kind of emergency training aircraft there. Why don't we just park it? Rajeka Airport. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, Rajeka. Yeah, and the 7-3. Oh, 100%. We got to do this one. All right, pull that back there. Let's go ahead and set that. Uh, all of our switches are off except the beacon. Um, let's check this out real quick. Real quick, and then we'll check the landing rate, and then we'll, we'll be done. You know, like a fire training aircraft, maybe. No guts, no glory. Oh, we can even go inside. Maybe not. You can go inside the airport. Look at this. That's pretty darn cool. This is just a default, you know, bespoke airport. Uh, fully modeled? Look at this. Wow. Holy crap, the whole thing is modeled. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. MSFS has stepped up their game. Let's go back down here. Back to our aircraft. Back inside. That's awesome. Damn. Um, Bombasa, what's up? Uh, doing the uh, first night flight in the new headset? Man, it looks good. Oh, I bet. I bet. I want to get your full motion rig. It would be even better. Um, but boss, I mean, you gotta stream it, or at least get pictures of that rig when you get it set up. Um, Anon suggests ne uh, suggest next trip for Jacob Split Zadar um, Dubrovnik Tirana. Oh, yeah, maybe in the TBM, right? Something GA. Uh, Mike, default, you can go inside. Yeah, I, I, that's nuts. I mean, hold on. Like, even the upper levels look like they're modeled? Yeah, like this cafe level. My controls were kind of touchy here, sorry. But yeah, you can... Well, outdoor... No, I guess you can't go in that. No, all right, you can't go inside the upper levels, but, but still. Like this cafe is here. Um, and you could definitely go in here. Somebody left their baggage unattended. Uh-oh. Uh, what else do they have here? Looks like a little fire station here. Yeah, that's really good. I'm pretty sure you can't go in the tower, right? No chance. Oh my gosh, you can. Like, even the tower is modeled? Look at that. You've got to be kidding me. That is unheard of, folks. I mean... Yeah, go MSFS. That that's really really good. Wow, that's that's crazy. Damn. Um, what's this alternate reality thing? Yeah, it's pretty good. Voxel, uh, it's great doing these two legs with you. Even uh, offline, looking forward to shared flight. Yeah, we'll we'll be on VATSIM again on Friday night. Um, Friday night for sure. Uh, check out the VAT USA. Um, forums uh, for the, that event. It's like Memphis and Austin maybe. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll get a flight going tomorrow and, and post it up there with the route and stuff like that. 
Bombasa, do you think they did more detail work across the pond compared to the U.S.? 100%. Uh, I mean, 100%. I, I, I've never seen a, a bespoke airport like this in the U.S. Um, maybe they'll work up to it. I don't know, but that's amazing. And, and frame rates are great, too. Well, let's check the landing rate. Yeah, 144. Not bad. We caught some unexpected crosswinds, let's just say. So 144. So we got, what, 111? Uh, 130 and 144 so getting progressively worse so I think we're going to end it here um, yeah folks uh, anybody left online thank you uh, thanks for hanging out uh, Mike Bombasso um, Voxel anybody else left online Anon uh, obviously uh, all you guys thanks for hanging out um, fun chill GA stream checking out world update 14 airports um, hell of a lot of fun yeah great stream thanks man yeah, this was a lot of fun thanks for the suggestion uh, my coffee it was cool don't forget to like and sub and comment 100% yeah don't forget to do that guys if you haven't already Bombasso later see you on the next one um, again I'll, I'll pop something up uh, tomorrow on the calendar uh, for Friday night we'll do a, a couple legs in, a, in an airliner on a busy that sim event um, Anon, tell everybody you know until at least seven strangers per day until the end of the month. I agree. That's a great idea. Do what Anon says. Voxel, have a great evening. Uh, cheers. Yeah, on that note, uh, cheers to all of you. Uh, have a good night. Um, I'm going to take this headset off my sweaty face and uh, probably go to bed. So I'll catch you guys on Discord tomorrow if you want to. Uh, and uh, thanks again for hanging out. You guys have a good night. Bye-bye.